it that way. Doesn't matter, does it? We'll do it that way. Right, sorry about that. We'll get this pesky up. <clears throat> so this truss is the a new Prime Minister of England, the third female Prime Minister. Labour's still never had a woman even get near the job. <laughs> and then that uh, baby, ooh, we're all so fucking far. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm just pointing it out because it's a fact. It's not that the Tories are any good, like, you know. <laughs> but, like, I just thought I'd do a quick video and ask us this question. Do we believe, let's put a man on the moon, do we believe, because she said, I'll, she starts to do this, this cow, like, so I said, oh, I'll, I'll think about it, I'll consider. So is she really going to put a prize cap? In other words, prolonging the agony over the next 20 years. Because that's all it really will be doing. Uh, not that it's not a bad thing, like, it's an essential thing. Like I said in the last video, I don't think they're going to, but I don't know. But I did say, like, I think they'll, they'll pull some out of the bag, like. Again, it's getting her in, getting her in. Now she's in place. Now we'll find out what the truth is, won't we, in a minute, like. Maybe next week we'll know. Am I confident? No, I'm not. No. I think she's the slimiest bastard that you could have ever got in the seats of power. Again, they're all yes men, but even though they're all yes men, right, there's still, uh, there's still a little bit of them in what, what comes down the line, I believe. You know what I mean? Not say well, I don't know, I can't explain that, it's dead difficult, isn't it? And I'm not big, massive knowledge on politics, really. I don't think anyone can be. Because it's a fucking minefield, isn't it? But my question is, will she put a prize cap on the... Uh, fucking hell. It's a nightmare this way around. Will she... I can't even get the comments. I know someone just texted in then and welcome. I only get one viewer a night, so I'm like, well, you can be me, you can be my wingman or woman. Uh, will she actually do something about this looming disaster? Because it is a looming disaster. I mean, how many people will fucking die if they really go and like? Increase energy bills by more than well, it's more than double, isn't it? When they finish with it again, as I said many times, it's tantamount to murder. Oh no, it's tantamount to murder. So, I don't know. And I can't even. Who's in? Oh, bird nest, you're in, brother. How are you doing, pal? Yeah, easy, bro. Yeah, it's. Uh, I just wondered. I know this. I'll get this. I'll get the answers to this question. Like over the next few days on the video, but like I just wondered what people thought about that. I directly asked my mate, who's a bit of a smart ass, and he couldn't really come up with an answer. Um, the the fucker about it all is if they don't do something. See, this is why I said in my last video, I said I think they'll, you know, I said I don't think they'll be able to go through with it. I, I'm not confident that I was accurate on that statement, by the way. I just thought, like, the destruction of businesses, the destruction of everyday people, like, I thought they're just pushing the lock. 
but they held the nerve until Trust was about to get in power. And previous to that, she was only offering like that ben tax benefits. But if you your uh, if you what's this? If you rub your head, top it warms up. I know. Tell them about the one where gas oil comes out of the ground for free. Well, tell them Crosman's. Yeah, I know what you're saying. It does come out of the ground for free. I'm on a level. I, I agree. Um, but oil has to be refined. You've got to do a load of shit with it. I, I know it comes down pipes. I know what you're saying and I agree with what you're saying. I know what you're saying and I agree with what you're saying. Um, look, there's only, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I think I'm, oh God, it's tricky this. It's like France is more nuclear, isn't it? We've had a, a, a you know, a system that's been saying, right, we're going to go all carbon neutral. So we're now paying for that. Um, and like the people that have got the gas, not, not our suppliers, it's the wholesalers. Right? They're the ones that are holding us to ransom, apparently. I've had a little look into it, I'm not an expert. But n and none of this is as, as simple as it seems. But Liz Truss can, well, whoever's behind or around, you know, they can freeze the prices at this extortionate price that it is now. That would suit me if I were them, because I think, well, we can run that now. In other words, we've put the price up, but we've managed to put it up Right, and keep it up forever. So, that, I think that's the game they've played, and I think they will. I, I I'm not saying they will, because I don't know, I'm not an expert, but I think they will um, freeze the prices any minute now. That's what I think they're going to do. And rightly so, but, um, but it's not a good thing in the long run, because, I mean, I know that sounds mad like, but in the longer run, because, it, like, in other words, right, this country, it, we're like billions of pounds of, in debt. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not an expert. It might have been, like, Cameron times, like, you know. But now it's trillions, you see. So, you know, like I, I've explained in the video, stagflation. Uh, you've got, like... Um, Shrinkflation, haven't you? Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah. If you get uh, a pack of mints now, it's well smaller, isn't it? You know what I mean? So, you, you get what I mean? Like, so, all these things are happening. So, just to freeze the energy prices over the winter period, which they've got, I think they've got no choice in doing so. I like, I'm putting my money on the fact that they're going to cap it but they're going to cap it and it'll never come down you see this is the other bad thing so whichever way these fuck like they always act like they're doing you favor but in reality they're not really doing you any favors but they're giving you a good dry scene to that um we've got no gas reserves have we because uh, I, I just read an article and I should have read it again or I should have been able to bring it up and actually read it to us all right but it was quite interesting it's a get out of jail card for the powers that be like but I, I, I watched a video and I left a comment and someone said yeah but like Russia won't be able to sell the uh, gas and oil to, I, I said yeah they, they'll sell it to the highest bidder didn't you? But they've not got the infrastructure. I thought, yeah, they have. Yeah, they have. They can sell it all over the place. You know what I mean? Oil and gas. You know, I don't. I don't know how they'll get the gas to China, but they'll find a fucking way, won't they? It's like we buy a lot of electricity off Finland. How do they do that? Must come. Does it come? And I meant to Google that and didn't. I like to come on massively unprepared. Um, I think it's Finland, it's somewhere over that way, and they're, they're not going to sell it us in a minute. So we're looking at um, power... Fridges, God, we're looking at power cuts in a minute, apparently. 
you know, they're going to sell like, oh, you'll have to have your dryer on at a certain time to avoid blackouts and stuff. So, because we've got nothing in the tank, if you like, you know, we've no reserves on anything. So, you know, we're in the fuckery. And what I was trying to point out on, in this little communication on this comment section of the video, I was trying to say, like, it's not... Um, our leaders can't do anything about the problem on a lot of levels because we're a little ship in a big sea. And that sea is... The commodities are going to the highest bidders. Do you understand? And... Uh, they can't really do much about that. You know, I mean, they're going to, what? Well, they're going to go mad on shale in a minute, aren't they? Which people used to, like, protest against, didn't they? Well, they won't be protesting against it in a minute, will they? You know, it's like everything they do, it's just a little bit later. You, you get your eyes wide open, don't you? Um, It's not long, and you see that scare everyone to death, right? Beyond, because like people are petrified, aren't they? And rightly so, you know. Um, and they're turning up, because, right, you've got to understand. You got a thing in the world called sterling, haven't you? It's not. It's not like it's, it's not. It's just not easy when you. Because I don't think we understand. We think, oh, it's them doing this. It's their mismanagement, and probably on purpose. But you know, you still have to pay in dollars for the energy that you buy on the world stage. And the less your sterling is worth, the less dollars you can buy. So it's not just, do you get what I'm saying here? It's not what we think, right? And if, which I'm hoping they do, right, assuming almost everyone is a zombie, so I haven't realised, ice caps and gla gla glasses been melting for thousands of years, then the earth cools back up 26,000 years. I, I agree with you. We, we're on about that now, right? We've, sw we've swung away from what I'm trying to explain. Fair enough. We, Probably not a bad idea, that brother. Yeah, totally. Climate change has been a constant thing throughout the history that, you know, geological history that we've got on the planet. Um, when the plague happened, we got into a cold snap, and uh, we'd like we, the population was running high at the time. And um, it fucked us up because we've been because the temperature cooled a little bit, crops failed, and we were fucked. So when the plague ravaged us, we were all malnutrition, so it did a right good job. But somewhere like in Holland, where they were producing ships using the the wind energy to make the. Uh, logs and planks for the for the ships they wasn't they wasn't having a bad diet and they had a very very low percentage of deaths from plagues that's an up period trap co2 and other mess back up the icing up period trap co2 and other I, right you see i've had this a million com this conversation is an old conversation because i've had it with alan many times um you know, we're hurtling towards a major disaster. Is it true? Well, I, all right, I, to lower it down a little bit, I was speaking to him on the phone, I said, yeah, but the ice caps are melting on planets in outer space that we apparently are monitoring. Is it true? I don't know what they say it is, don't they? You know, because, like, on this massive trajectory going around the pla the universe, like, some, you're going in and near and further away from the sun, don't you, apparently? So, but yeah, climate, like, do you believe? I mean, I don't know if it's true, 
But do you believe that the ice caps have been free of ice? Because we know they have. You know, historically, we know that they have. They used to be like forests and stuff, didn't they? But were the ice caps at some other point on the flat flat earth? <laughs> I don't know. If we, I I don't know. If we're not. I have the suspicion that we're we're adding to the problem a little bit, but it's more of a natural problem. All right, I'll put it even. It's even horrible. Though. You know, every fucking thing that's lived on Earth is all extinct, isn't it? Apart from the things that are here now. And that's only a couple of percent, isn't it, of all the life that's lived on Earth. Everything dies. So, I mean, you don't know if you can believe what they say, do you? Like, when they, they say, like, the Earth was one block of ice for thousands and thousands of years, and then it melted again, and life, like, sort of what survived microbially then. You don't know what to believe, do you? Are we fucking up the planet? Uh Again, I like that one. You know, oh, there's too many of us, but like, there isn't really that many of us, is there, in a way? No, there's a lot of us on a spreadsheet, but there's vast swathes of Earth, isn't the fat land empty. Plus, the population will decrease in a minute. I learned that off Jordan Peterson. Well, it's got to be true. Uh, are we destroying the planet? I don't... No, are we really? Because I, you know, listening to the science on the global warming front, it's a bit like listening to the uh, medical science on over COVID, isn't it? I like how they're all getting away with saying things that I got a strike for. Maybe it might be hopefully it was three months ago that, and then the strike will be nearly gone now. Yeah, I keep leaving it on the comments. I got a strike for saying that. But these shilly cunts can sell what they fucking want, can't they? Because they're all on the fucking payroll. You know, like when you get them, you know, they'll do a video and it'll be like the newsreaders and then they'll put another newsreader and another newsreader. Another. Then there'll be thousands of newsreaders all played at the same time saying exactly the same thing. There you go. That's what you're up against. But I think, like... I mean, I've looked at these satellite images that are showing the ice caps and, like, they are massively, massively disappearing. Do I believe it? I'm pretty sure there's some credible scientists that wouldn't lie again, but, like, that's what you thought with COVID, didn't you? It's easy to say we're not destroying the planet and just carry on. But again... Um, Say your plan was just to pump this shit up, right? All right, yeah, all right. It's a shit video, this, I do apologise. Uh, I've had a few sherbets. And I shouldn't have done, because I've got things to do tomorrow. <coughs> but, uh <laughs> Pray to Odin. It's all right. Pulling this, you know, the gas and the gas and the electric, and distributing it to all the people at a reasonable price all over the world. That's an all right thing to do. But you know, you got to think like, how many houses are there in the United Kingdom? And then you got to think. How many houses are there in the United Kingdom and Europe that all want to put the cooker on? It's such, and, and it ends up being a lot of gas, doesn't it? You know, and the way that we get the gas, it doesn't matter how we do it, there's still going to be so much coming out of the ground, won't there? And then, so that has to be directed and go all over the, the planet, if you like, whichever way you want to cook that up, doesn't matter, doesn't it? Like, a lot of our energy comes from burning coal, turning it into electricity, doesn't it? We're actually involved in turning gas into electricity as well. See, so it's really, really weird and tricky. And when you got Russia, yeah, all right, it only supplied us 5%, doesn't sound like a lot. 
But it just fucks the job up when it says, no, you cocky fucking bastards. <laughs> it just tilts everything into fucking ooh, problems, which then gives the big boys the chance to go, oh, well, we'll put the prices up then, can't we? And little governments, they got no choice. The intention of the assembler of AC Electricity intention wasn't to sell, but free to use Tesla. Again, I find they might be a bit of a story, you know. Do, do you know what I mean? Because there's so many videos that I've got in my head with Tesla's blah, 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 blah. But where's the proof? You know, I, I don't know. I, I struggle with it. Uh, you know, it's just like, oh, well, that's quite a, a commonly spoke. It's like Tesla with his electric cars. He didn't invent electric cars, did he? He was old as the hills. Um, I'm, if there was a way to just create electricity and give it every home, yes, Andrea, if there was a way to just create electricity and give it every home, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be quite happy with it. You know, uh, you see, again, I've done this in videos previously, trying to, my view, it's only my view, but in the long run, green energy is the way forward, but it's not for us. It's for 100 years from now, isn't it? Like, the problem with electric cars, uh, you know, the fact that a police station bought loads of electric cars but didn't buy, buy the PowerPoint. Naive Crossman. I don't mind being naive. I don't mind it. You know, I am naive. I'm honest in my naivety, right? What I'm saying is, in the future, right, electricity, I would not, I don't see it coming, at, well, I see the way it's produced in 100 years from now being completely different than it is being produced now. Yeah? Um, if we're not white back to the Stone Age, that, the Stone Ages, that is, which I don't know whether we will be or we won't be. But if we're not, you know, we will get most of our energy from the sun and the wind and the sea, won't we? You know, and then the electric car then isn't a problem, is it? Andrew, we've all had that, Bill. How much, how much tons of earth dug out for one electric car battery? Oh, yeah, I know that. Well, that's a massive problem. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm, I understand that, yeah. I'm not denying that. But in the future, right, all the wrinkles out of electric batteries will be ironed out in the end. Yeah, but you, you, you're thinking about the world now. You, you, you're looking at the world now. Yeah? 40 years ago, right, it was amazing that I could ring you up on the phone and you were in Australia. Now, I could communicate to you on my fucking smartphone right into your house. You, 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 you know, we have to be careful. We're small-minded if we're not careful. It's like what will you what you'll be able to get out of a kilowatt of electricity will increase over I don't know, like over hundred years. We're using hundred years as a guide here. You know, but in the future, you know, the, the need to travel will would diminish. It's, look, you can't look at the world, right? How it is now. Yeah, you have to look at what you're going what what you think it, the possibilities are in the future and see that you know um you don't get a you don't you don't go and get a boat to Australia, do you? No, you get a plane. Standard procedure. Right? So you have to see that technology over the next hundred years, right? We'll make lots of things redundant, possibly all of us like as well. But 
Do you get what I mean when I'm saying that? So all the problems that we've got now. If brain filthy needs washing, I don't. You have to. I think you've been on the sherbets again, brother. Um, in the future, in my opinion, yeah. I've I said it in videos way back. I've said it loads of times. You know, if, if I had a decent vehicle that would come and pick me up if I wanted to go somewhere, right? And all I had to do was get in it and it would safely transport me to where I wanted to go, right? Might be a bit quirky and weird right now, but in the future, you'll get laughed at. So oh, he's a right weird way. Why? What's up with him? Oh, he drives his own car. What? Drives his own car? What a dick. He has his own car. What a dick. You know, that's the way the world, it's just going to keep, it's a, it seems bad now because we're going through um, a, te a technological revolution, aren't we? You know, it wasn't that long ago. Steam engines came into um, the world. If the if the mismanagement hasn't been recognised, my majority, then the reality is got to deserve what's coming around the corner. Yeah, but you had um, you had um, the Luddites, didn't you? You know, people that used to work till the land come and attack the steam machines. Cotton mills have turrets on them so they could shoot people that was coming to it because they were taking our jobs. Machinery was taking our jobs. But in the end, they became normal. Many years later, they don't exist now because them jobs have been took over by technology. See, so no one does that anymore. It's like no one, people don't go out anymore, do they, in the West until the fields by hand because you have a tractor with a fucking rotary machine on it that tills all the soil. That's what happens now. And in the and it won't be long. That tractor will be run on electric. And it won't be much further than that. The electric will be got, right, in different and better ways, you see, more sustainable ways, more ecologically friendly ways. That's the future, my friend. Um, and when you, when you think, oh, it melts your head a bit, that's because you're a Luddite. And there's nothing wrong with being a Luddite either. But that's what you're doing, you know, and that's the way it is. So that's what I'm saying. Uh, it's, it, it's massively demanding on the planet now to make an electric car, but it will get less and less because new technologies will grow. Different ways of making batteries is already actually happening right now, you see. You know what I mean? Like It's all changing constantly, and in the end... The battery will be immense. It's long ever to be immense. It's distance will be immense. And it won't even be that long, like 10 years, it'll be massively improved. You know, it, it's like looking at the the Henry T. It's like looking at the the, the T the, the T one, isn't it? Henry Ford's first uh motor motor motor, motor car. Yeah, and looking at the top of the range Lamborghini Countach now, isn't it? What is it? Is it 100 years? See? So that's what I'm saying. So, you, again, you can't really fight the technology thing. A lot of us will have to die over it, mate. I'm not denying that, and I do disagree with that. Andrea remembers use abroad using a payphone to ring back home. Yeah. And that was a long time ago now, wasn't it, Angie? <laughs> Cross, come on, man. Only 80 years ago, you were throwing dried manure in the cook pot fire. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I know that. That's what I'm saying. And now, I microwave it, don't I? That's what I'll be doing. You know, when it goes ridiculously expensive, I'm a bit worried about having this light on now. I'll make all my meals in one batch. So the oven will only go on. And I'll do, like, about five meals, like, they'll all be done in a day. And then I'll put them all into, you know, little takeaway uh, containers. I've already got them in the cupboard, never used. 
hundreds and hundreds of them. So then, like, every every night, like, when, we, when we're proper starving and it's freezing, I just have to put, like, two meals in the microwave, man. <laughs> so I already sussed it out, mate. And you wouldn't be able to do that without the technology of the microwave, would you? So we're already winning through technology. Oh, yeah, it's a stitch. -up. I mean, I'm hoping List Trust puts a freeze on everything, but the freeze will last forever. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, it's a dangerous manoeuvre, even putting a freeze on energy, but it needs doing completely. But it, it need, the, free needs, the freeze needs to be taken back a bit, you see. Do you get what I'm saying when I say that? Because they're going to, in the long run, they're going to make even more money destroying the uh, the population of the United Kingdom. Because you can't word it any other way now without offending some cunt, can you? <clears throat> you know what I mean? But I think they're going to do it. I think they're going to, like, do something. I said that to you the other night, didn't I, Andrea? Well, Liz Truss is saying that she's thinking, we don't need thought, do we? We don't, want, you know, like, someone asked her a question, I can't think what it was now. I don't watch Liz Truss, Liz, Liz, Liz and Truss at all. Uh, but so she said, it, the guy was saying, like, she'd consider it. If she's saying that, doesn't mean that she has to do anything. She doesn't even have to get a group of people together to discuss it. She'll think about, you know, and that's what she likes to say. Oh well, I think I th I'm thinking about doing this. Or I'm thinking about doing that. Cheap to live in a cave. I know you are. There's a woman on this internet, like, and she lives in a cat in a. It's like a big van. She said. I thought I, were, I thought I were mad a few years ago. She said, but now I'm buzzing. <laughs> she said, I'm saving money even though everything's going radio rental. There you go. Live in a, live in a van. It's like, you just won't dare put your eating up. I've got the back door open now. You won't be doing that fucking in, in a couple of months, will you? It'd be cheaper to get a bottle of whiskey a night, won't it, than put your gas and electric on. We're winning. We're winning. Get the fucking old spirits. I will sit with my coat on with a bottle of brandy to warm me up at night. Exactly. Exactly. It's not us though, is it? Because like I said in previous videos, I, I speaking of it quick, like what well, everything I've said, it like if you did go back, you'd hear me sit like probably word things differently and similar and better. Uh it's not us that the problem, is it? It's like the old people, isn't it? You know, it's like the old people. They're the ones that are gonna suffer. They are, they, it, they're going to fucking get, Crossman, it's like he's on it, but what's he on? <laughs> well, I'm off the weed, bird's nest. I'm off the weed. And I'm only drinking Carlsberg. So, there's no acting going on here, bird's nest. It's just me. It's the way I am. If I was acting for the illuminated ones, I'd get some fucking viewers, wouldn't I? Dad, I don't want to ruffle your feathers. Like I'm just saying, like we're viewing the world now. We're not viewing it in the future. We won't be in that future, probably not. But like when governments say, let's get 
different ways of getting energy, even if it's like get more, go more nuclear, which France is 70% nuclear. And that's one of the reasons that their government have been able to protect their um, citizens from the massive increase in what we're facing is because we didn't, we didn't have that. I'm not going to call it foresight. We didn't go that way. You see, but people in La La Land think everything's planned, but unfortunately, I don't think it is. You know, um, so that's why we've got a forty percent increase on. But we'll just use a, a general term and say Europe. You see, on the electric, and the gas is even worse because we haven't got any of it. You see, and we're completely reliant. Well, we will come. Well, we've got we get a bit from the North Sea, don't we? Like Vladimir said, there's a load of gas in the North Sea, but I think they're keeping it under the rat, which is probably true. But they're all fear programs, aren't they? And it's because we're just staving off the inevitable. Um, you know, like things that have happened in the past when, like, you've had mad revolutions and stuff. Just staving them off. You know, it was John F. Kennedy. I read this in a comment. He said, those who have um, prevented from peaceful revolution are forced into violent ones. Well, that, that's what we're really staving off, bro. Well, they're talking about putting a cap for it. They're talking about putting a freeze on the energy prices, Andrew. That's what I'm saying. Uh, which sounds like a good thing, and in one way it will be. But in the longer run, it will be even more disastrous for everyone in the future, basically, in this country. Because, like I said, they put things up, they never bring them down. Right? So... Say we paid astronomical prices for our energy over the next 16 months, it would then have to drop down to some normal level. So many will die. But if they freeze it now, right, we'll have to uh, pay that extra... We'll have to pay loads more for the next 50 years, maybe, or like we'll say 20 years, you see. So in, in a way, they win in the long run. Every, like I said, all they ever want to do is put the prices up on everything, you see, without even really noticing. That's what I've noticed. I might be wrong. I'm a fucking idiot. Idiot from modern Putin don't give a... He'll kill the shit out of enemies. <laughs> <laughs> well, Putin's not asked. Again, it... Putin saying, look, you, you're giving me sanctions, I'll, your sanctions are going to hurt you more than they hurt me. He says, because I'm, he's on, they're on big money as a country, selling energy. So they just sell it to Turkey, China, you know, TV license, absolutely. Yeah, it's, uh, again, you know, it's rip off Britain, which is very true, isn't it? Like you get like these cunts and they're all they're on the internet and they come on BBC and they're all on your side, but I'm not, we're very dubious that they're actually on your side, really. I think like they're all shilling for the left or shilling for the right, aren't they? You know. But like we'll have to see. I mean, if the energy goes massively up, like I say. Um, it's not really, well, well, I'm 47, I'm not too worried. I'd be more worried if I was 67, you see, because the cold's very, very dangerous then, isn't it? You, know, you might not watch these channels, but they're on the telly, they're on the radio, and they are on the internet, and one way or another, by communicating with other people, that information gets to you, Andrew. There's no real escape unless you did go and live in a cave. You see, the, all the information gets to us all, you know, by it just does somehow, like one way or another. Um, 
just having a conversation with a work colleague, it gets to you. Oh, did you hear? Did you know? Or oh, I heard this on the radio when coming to work in the car this morning, and it gets to you. Uh, but like I said, oh, I left this in a comment. I said, it, I think you were in the thread, Andrew. Uh, I said, it's funny how they're getting Liz in now. They'll do a mass murder campaign. And down the line, guess he'll come back to save the day. Boris Johnson. What made me think that? Because they've brought Biden in, haven't they, now? Right? And uh, I reckon you might get Donald Trump back in down the line, you see. So why not? You know, send this silly cow in, white loads of people out, and then bring the hero in. Because, like, like it's a bit think he's church. You remember what I was saying? So, like, and it's just my crazy analysis of, like, possibilities down the line. But far worse, you could get a Labour government in. You know what I mean? Like, and that's, I know it sounds like, well, it sounds like a good idea at the minute. I don't think in the long run it will be a good idea. Um, you know, it's like nationalising the energy company sounds like a good idea, but are you sure? Because you give all the power to whoever's in government then, don't you see? It can, it can end up worse than, you know, putting it out to tender. Anything's possible in this country. Andrea, very wise words then. Absolutely, the wisest words that have ever been said on the Crossman show. That anything's possible with these cunts. And we've seen that, haven't we, through uh, COVID. <laughs> Scary times. Scary times, aren't they? You know, all you want to do is not freeze to death and not starve to death, is it? It's not a great, it's not, it's not a massive ask, is it? You know, um, and the Bank of England that says everyone must become more poor, did I say that in a, in a posh manner? Everyone must become more poor. Well, that's all right for them because they're protecting big businesses profits you see so all the profits are going to big business and they're saying to you right well you can't really have a rate where you can't have a, a wage rise or you can have a wage rise but it's not going to compete with the rise of inflation thus um it's feudalism in the end isn't it but mind you videos back in the day said that's that's what they want to take us back to Because, like, Boris Johnson and his pals, they're not worried about their electricity bill going up to £1,000 a day, are they? I bet some of them wouldn't be asked if it went up to £1,000 an hour. Like, oh, I'm not sorry. As long as it's killing all them cunts out there, getting rid of the fucking riffraff. <laughs> uh, but, again... I just want to say this because it's my point and I like it and it's how I feel. It's the old people I'm worried about. You know what I mean? Because the cold puts your chances up of having like a stroke or a heart attack in winter, you see. So if they're all sat there freezing this winter, right, the death toll will be fucking massive. Well, that's what they do, isn't it? They take with one hand. And, yeah. They give with one hand and a smile on the face. Lenny is in the yard. He says, good morning. Don't tell me it's morning. Jesus Christ. I have to go to another country and start um, broadcasting from a different time. Mind you, on a flat earth, it's all a scam, isn't it? Cheers for the other night, Lenny. You stood by me. It's from a geezer that were on site the other night when there was only me in. <clears throat> you 
did the job. Caught some decent things as well, didn't you, Pa? So I mean, there's plenty of people out here that, that you know, it's not like the world is you're welcome, but oh, thank you very much. Uh, it's not like there's loads of completely stupid people, is there? Like, but they just get you in a position where you know, it's like, well, all right, this is this one makes me laugh. This is it's a dangerous thing to say this on my channel, but. They're talking about the next injections, aren't they? I thought, I fucking don't want one. Still don't want one, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, I know no one. Oh, yeah, I do. I know one old boy that officially died of COVID, but he only went in the hospital. He, he, he went in with a fall. Three days later, they said, oh, he's died of COVID. Oh, fuck, I think his, his funeral's on uh, What's the date today? My mate told me today I'm going to go 13. I'm going to go. Um, I'm not going to wear a suit. I have got a suit. I'm not going to wear a suit. I'll just wear a pair of jeans and a shirt. You know, I've got a shirt. So, well, it'd be a pair of shirts, to be honest. But I've got some black trainers. I've got shoes, but they're not down there, so... I've got a black, oh no, oh yeah, I've got my big coat, that'll look smart at a funeral on it, yeah. You want to go like, but, it's like, you know, as a fall, goes into hospital, three days later, he's died of COVID. He contracts COVID and dies of it that quickly. You, should, you, you know what I'm saying? This is ridiculous, beyond belief. But it's good to write down on the old, um, because they want to push the COVID thing now, don't they? But I think they, they, they just basically... And he was ready for dying, so I'm not having a go at him for this. Oh, you got a notification. Excellent. I'm not having a go at him if they, like, just sin him off one way or another. But um, he didn't die of fucking COVID. Not a lot of bollocks, that. He fell from afar. Here are the facts. You arrived here, a visitor, with the time limit. So you live true in this world, true. Where are you going to? <laughs> Hopefully I'm going to pub. What did you learn on your visit? Uh, do you want to stay? No, you must leave it. Yeah, absolutely. Just, you don't want to, you want to push it down the line a bit. It's, I mean, I don't even fancy being fucking 98 myself. I don't think that'll be much fun, but I don't know because I've not been there yet. Uh I have to attend the funeral tomorrow too, coincidentally. It's from a man's house, cremation afterwards. He had Parkinson's disease. My granddad died of Parkinson's disease. Yeah. I've done this one on here before as well. And because of the time, they were doing experiments on people with Parkinson's. And apparently, they'd, they'd like, they cut the top of their head off. Don't ask me. Do, do we think they did it to him? Yeah, we think they did. But there you go. Well, it's a horror. Or a house, isn't it, medicine? Especially back then, I'm sure it's not much better now, is it, in reality, underneath the scenes? Yeah. <coughs> That's why I keep drinking, just in case I get the uh, shaky hands, I can say to myself, well, it's the beer and not the Parkinson's. Well, it's the skipper generation, doesn't it? But, again, and this is what I'm saying, Parkinson's disease in the future... Well, they'll just completely cure it. They'll cure it with a pill, won't they, see? This is what I'm saying. It is true. On one level, modern medicine and some things, it is pretty nifty, like with my mate's daughter, you know. I explained on a previous video. She had cancer, and the radiation they give her was, like, pointing right at where the cancer was in her body, so they don't radiate your whole body in this situation. You see, and that, not many years ago, you'd have been dead with, you see. And, uh, yeah, her hair fell out, but it's going back now, and she's got the rest of her life really ahead of her. She wouldn't have had that life ahead of her ten years ago, and that, it is the truth. Same with electricity, rat, bird's nest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. As for Tesla, I don't know. <laughs> I just find it a little bit psyopy, all the Tesla stuff. Do you know what I mean when I say that? I know it's horrible to say. 
hundred years ago, they only used to live till about forty years old. I was like, oh, it was old age, yeah, definitely. Oh, good, yeah. I mean, it a thousand years ago, I think you were done at about thirty, were you? So I mean, you know, with the odd exception, but like the lucky gene, like, but yeah, yeah, you were done. Cut. I think they want to get us back to it, Angie, don't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're definitely going back in time, aren't we? To the, you know, like, I don't remember the 70s because we're born in the 70s. Uh, But they were pretty grim times, weren't they? Like, you know, because you, you can go and look in some if you want, like, you know. Oh, yeah, you were an old, you were an old geezer. You were an old geezer. When I started cutting her, right, and they used to come in the shop, they were, to be quite honest, a lot of them were generally fucked at about 60 to, be, 60, to be honest. Honestly to God, that is true as well. Literally fucked. You know, they walked like really old men because they all had like hard graft work, hard working lives and hard smoking, hard drinking. Hmm. True that. I actually witnessed the increase, the longevity in lifespan in the United Kingdom witnessed it with my own fucking eyes uh, because they worked you to death didn't they we're all hard manual labour wasn't it 40s 50s 60s I mean, like, the fact that people don't smoke anymore as much. It's, let's face it, it's not exactly great for you, is it? Workhouses. Well, yeah. You know, you might have been, it might have been 1959 and you were 15 and you got, fro you, you went to work in the pit, didn't you? Or in a factory somewhere or, a, you know, a mill or... You know, it's fucking bad for you, wasn't it? It's the truth. Guinness Book of Records, 1991 average life expectancy of a Russian man was 55. I bet it's not much better now, is it, Lenny? Just, if you can be asked, Google what it is now, I bet it's not massively different. Because Russia die young because of the booze, don't they? Because it's just like, it's pretty normal and acceptable, isn't it? Not like I drink. I mean, like, they, they kick off with the vodka on a cold morning, don't they, in a, they all die cirrhosis of the liver in Russia, but they put it down as somewhere else, like, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 It's like some of the guys that I know, like, they might be 70. You wouldn't think they was. You know, you think they're more like 55, some guys, what I know. Yeah. So, and this is what I mean when they say, like, oh, God, they're poisoning the food. I think, well, they must be poisoning it with something not too bad. <laughs> Can't be too bad what they're poisoning us with, can it? If, uh, you know, we're, mind you, having said that, we've reached the pinnacle now, haven't we? As of 2013, the average life expected of Russia was 65.1. Not bad. Uh, male set. As of 2013, the average life expectancy... Fucking hell, get away. The average life expectancy in Russia was 65.1 years for males and 76.5 years. This is what annoys me about women. They moan, don't they, right, about everything in life. Like, I'm not only joking when I say this, Andrew, don't take it personal. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a joke. But, like, they get, you know what I mean, like, it's like when you look at Rising Damp or any of the old comedies, every bloke's dead long gone. 
But the the females that were were in it with them, like they're all still going out. See, so although like you might have a bad stick in life, you get another fucking ten years at least. Oh, you now do you want to know why that is? Do, do, do. Well, I've been led to believe. I don't know if it's true because I don't know anything. But um, you still got um, a purpose to play. If you're in a prehistoric uh, situation, right? The mother becomes the grandmother and she can offer the mother and the grandchildren help, right? You know, you can go and get berries and shit. <laughs> Men have an hard life with us women. I'm not sure about that. I, th I, think I always think it's more the other way around. But the female, the grandmother, can look after the uh, unit, the family unit, you see, and she can give wisdom and advice to the mother and help with the grandkids. Whereas blokes, we, we fizzle out a little bit quicker because once we've stopped reproducing, our job is done, you see. So that is apparently true. I think it sounds true as well. You know, so evolutionarily and genetically, that's why men kick it a bit quicker. Because once we can't produce kids, we're fucking useless and we serve no purpose, really. We're just a burden. You know what I mean? So, is it true? It could be true. Because you're on the man's channel, that and you think that's the way you should... No, nonsense. No, I'm more of an headache than uh, Linda. I can, I can honestly say that. Well, maybe not true, that, but pretty true. Truth in it. Gives me a good run for my money, like... Well, it's to do with uh, hormones, isn't it? You know, but the reason being, I felt on the scrap it for years. It's what's going on between the self worth. <laughs> but you are on you're on the scrap heap, on the scrap heap as a bloke, aren't you? Um, but women, like you know. They get that extra 10 years, don't they? It's in the Bible, isn't it? It's biblical. You know, women are useful, like, after the reproductive stage has dried up. They've got a lot to offer a family, haven't they? Because, you know, say you're just the granddad, like, they're not going to say, granddad, can you come and babysit all the tribe, are they? And you're going to do a good job of it, you know. But the grandma, she can whiz around and make everything all right. So there will be a genetic reason women live longer, won't there? And that must be it. I'm sure it happens in primates, you know, and that will still be the reason, won't it? You know, but women get a good 10, 15 years on us lot, don't they? In general, you get the odd amazing bloke that, like, gets 200 and odd, don't get me wrong, but in general terms, you know, even now we cooked uh, what, what, oh, What's the uh, what's the age now for a bloke in England? I think, well, mind you, it does vary. You've got the postcode lottery there, haven't you? But I think the average age for a bloke in England is it's eighty is it eighty two, which isn't bad, is it? Eighty two is not bad as a as an average. But like, if you're from uh, Durker Oldham or Saddleworth. Get the post call lottery involved in that. <laughs> like the blokes I knew up on Durka back in the day. They were lucky they got to 60, most of them. It was very it was very weird. Very weird. And St. Mary's same. It's a very odd. But again, what pushes us down is the fact that, uh, you know, single males, we fall into that trap, don't we? 
79 years for males, 82 female. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's better, isn't it? So women only get an extra three years on us. That sounds more... Cause more I'm, that's comforting, that. Thank you. You're not a bad stick, you. Yeah. No, but they generally get about another fucking 15, don't they? <laughs> it's a weird old fucking world, isn't it? But this annoys me, like, because when you get, I mean, I'm not there yet, luckily, but, like, it, do, I, I, I mean, I'm not sure what the point is in living at a certain point. Are you, like, you know? Um, and to say that, it might be unfair, that, like, because, oh, well, this was sad. <laughs> This is sad, like, I've got to go and see an old boy tomorrow. And he was sharp as a brush, but the last time I... Uh, well, so how can you put it, like, he dropped down a good few pegs, like, I reckon he's about nearly 90. Yeah? But he was just a bit flummoxed and he didn't see him all there like and I thought that's what it is, isn't it? That, that's there, isn't it? Like, you know. Cause we I do it myself now, like I try and think, what's that cunt called? You know, on the telly or whatever. And I can't fucking grasp, I can't get the name. That happens, doesn't it? And that gets worse, doesn't it, over time. Oh, it's one of the reasons I play chess, that. Um, you know, just try and keep your mind going. But there comes a point where it's fucking pointless. And sometimes you're not lucky enough to die at that point, are you? Like, you know, the perfect time to die. There's a perfect time to die and some people die before it. And there's a perfect time to die and some people, unfortunately live way beyond it, don't they? And then everyone else has to wipe their asses and it's no life, is it, for them, you know? And then you say, well, what, what can we do with them? Like, well, you can't do anything, can you? So you've got to keep them alive, like, and they become like a, an energy source for wealthy people then, don't they, that can pay fucking nurses, fuck all, to keep them alive. And, and, but then, like, you say, well, what, what are you saying? We should kill them. I'm like, it's a weird, is it, is it, there's a line there, isn't there, where you think, maybe. <laughs> uh, should do, you should have a test, shouldn't you? Like, see how many people you can remember out of EastEnders, and if you can't remember them, I went, <laughs> well, we're going to have a better one now, aren't we? Because we're going to have the, uh, Freeze to death and <laughs> starve to death. <laughs> That's what I mean, like, four fucking Tory fucking prime ministers. Oh, yeah, keep active, yeah, keep moving. Walking is the way forward. Keep walking. Drink lots of fluid. Lots of fluids is the key. But, like, I mean, at what point? You know, it's like, how long do you want to live for, if you know what I mean? Like, it's like, I know it's an awful one, isn't it? But do you want the indignity of not remembering who you are and who anyone else is and having people have to... Wipe your ass, and it's like, how far do you want to fucking push the game? Like, you know, so it's awful, but we're keeping a lot of people alive, aren't we? That are probably better off dead, aren't they? In their own, uh, two dogs, yeah, dogs. You see, you can't walk, you can't walk, walk was all I got him, I had him a walking lead, I didn't want to know it.
You better be careful now, because people get offended. But am I wrong? Or what? It's weird, isn't it? But it's true, isn't it? How fucking far do you want to push it? And he's, uh, he, he's the person that should decide when, like, you know, it's got ridiculous and beyond. That's what I'm saying. That old boy that went into um, hospital after the fall, I reckon one way or another they did him in. I don't know how they did it. I'm not saying they put a pillar over him. I'm not even saying they overdosed him in morphine. And he might have just died naturally, you know, don't get me wrong, but, like, you know, it might have been an angel of death. I don't know, we don't know how they do it, but we know that they do, don't we? Like when my dad had a stroke, they went, we're not going to give him any food and water. He's like, all right, with you? And we said, yeah. Um, but can you argue with it? Would you want, uh, you know? It's a shame, though, because he was dead sound. Uh, he did set to me, though. He went, I'm not afraid of dying. I thought, it might not be a bad thing, that. Did, did I believe him? Yeah, I believed him. I reckon he'd... He, he wasn't a dumb cunt, like, you know. He, he'd, he'd done well in life, apparently, as well, like, so, like... He, but he wasn't thick as fuck, like. But he was just leaning on a bin outside his flat. And the bin slipped, and he went for a burn. See, so ended up in hospital. Three days later, died of COVID. <sighs> this COVID that's gonna rear its ugly head now because winter's coming again, and they're gonna hit everyone with the bullshit. See, so. Heads up, be warned. <clears throat> and I'm not sure if, if it's uh, if you're allowed to say, but have you seen all these people that are just dropping dead at the minute? Because I got in trouble for some mentioning this, like, might have been like fucking four months ago. So I thought I'd better keep it low, but like, it's loads of like people just dropping dead now, isn't it? I made this point four months ago. But <laughs> Obviously, I wasn't allowed to do it, so I'll just reiterate the point again. Yeah, there's loads of people dropping dead. There's other people saying it, but they're probably paid fucking shills. Yeah, people just dropping dead now. Young, healthy people. Climbing mountains or skiing. <laughs> Professional runners and stuff. Dropping dead. Zorro's not had his injections yet, and I thought, hang about, does he need them? He says, oh, don't let him outside. He's not had his injections. I said, let him go outside and come into contact and get an immunity to the things that are outside. Listen to me. Huh, cats have been living for thousands of years. Possibly even 20,000 years. Yeah, triathlon guys call croaking it. They're all croaking it. It's fucking crazy. But the minute you say it, you're in trouble. I got a strike and I only had. I had, I'd already had, to, had a strike and they give me another strike. I'm not sure what I'm up to now. That's why I've been a bit cagey. That's why I haven't been coming on. As much. Because I wanted to get down to one strike. Um, seems to get in less trouble when I do it on a live, though, you see. Yeah, well, they use the word that you're going against the fact that this big fucking farmer want to make a load of money on mugs. So, but, like, it's funny enough, like, the ones that they've hit me on, well, one was an old one, but like that last one that they hit me on. For some reason, I just did a, a recorded video and uploaded it, which I never, ever do. I always go live, you see. I'm wondering if the bots, uh, they're not 
actually on to the lives as much as they're on to like recorded things. I don't know about that. Because I know that AI can listen to my video and censor it and probably like point something of a second, you know, like even this one now. Um, but it was a sensitive time. And I only did the video because like, The information had just crossed my path. You know, I was flicking around on Google or YouTube. I think it was Google. And it said, oh, there's a 16% increase in, well, sudden death syndrome, unexplained death in generally younger people. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll do a video on it. <laughs> gone immediately. Striped. Gone. I thought, fuck you, know. Like, what can you study around that subject like, you know? Might calm down a bit now. Don't know. I mean, not that I'm not willing to lose the channel, because I actually am, you know, I don't want to. Because it's my library, it's my history, it's me like my, uh, not my library, it's like my diary, isn't it? <clears throat> not me when I say that, but... Even so, oh, that, if I lost it, there you go. Not so ready. I'd be a bit pissed off, but like, I'd get over it, you know. Get on with being normal then, wouldn't I? Join the Rotary Club. Join the Masons. I was watching this channel the other night. I watched it on Big Tally, like, he got up and he, he's like it's a good channel I can't think what it's called I'll have to tell you in the next video I'll have to have a look at his name and he's travelling through towns and cities in America and showing you the absolute falling apart of like you know he's driving around areas like and they're all just like Buffalo New York and like all these houses that are being reclaimed by nature and that. Very, very sad. I felt a bit, it got me a bit, you know, and I thought, these bastards, because it's the same bastards as these bastards over here, in, you know, in a way. you got to say it, you gotta, you got to, like, say that. Ah, there's a truth in that. You know, and they, they don't give a fuck. They want to destroy us. And I thought, well, where have them people gone? And I thought, well, they'd be like... Sharing houses in other places of America now, won't they? Like, they're like 10 blokes in an house, won't they? Unhappy. And they'll be happy, won't they? Like, we'll be in heat banks, won't we? Yeah. We'll all be in heat banks in a minute. I'll be taking me clippers, me thinners, me scissors and me comb. <laughs> I ain't gone, I'm going, ah, chop, chop, chop. Looking right. I said, well, being as you can all line up, I'll do them five quid trims, man. <laughs> you come out with 100 quid, be happy, won't I? But, like, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. They're willing. Like, oh, this was it. My mate went, oh, he sent me a video and it was food banks, the barons of food banks. I said, I've covered it on the channel. And I went and found the video seven years ago. I sent it him back. I said, like, and it's something to do with food banks. Like, I sent him the name of the video. I said, fuck, I've covered that seven years ago. That food banks, really. Yeah, they feed people. And that's not a bad thing, is it? There's hungry people. But it's not the fact that they feed people. What about granddad card, look. Alright, there's a bandana. It's, uh, 
the fact that like you've got the uh, Russell Trust behind it and big Jewish families with big Jewish ideas. Yeah, making money. It's like when you see the car and you're going out of the supermarket and everyone's throwing a bottle of milk and a can of beans and all that, someone's making money off that. The people that are making money off it, they're the ones that are jet-setting around on private jets. It's a fucking game. The countries, that's one of my previous videos, why it's a scam. Huh? It's not a scam if you get some food, if you get a meal for a night. But feed, give a learner man to fish. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a fucking scam. Food banks are a scam. Heat banks will be a scam. You see? You know, the fact that there's a few people that believe they will be untouched by the coming nightmare is a scam also. Like I said, they want you to default on your mortgage. They want you to fucking lose everything. See? They want to fucking stitch you up like a fucking motherfucking kipper. I've never owned the car, I've always been a cyclist. I'm a big cyclist, to be honest. I don't walk it, I'm told by mainstream news, I'm wrecking the planet. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, I, I have had a few cars in my time, to be quite honest, but I've not had a car for years. No, but that's not because I'm ecologically friendly. I just think it's a right rip off. Petrol insurance, fucking. Um, vehicle itself for maintenance, like. They've been a fucking rip for years, haven't they? Fucking complete. There's another scam. So. And like, look at it now. People can't even afford to put petrol in the fucking things, can they? It's like charities, they take percentages of what you give. So how much actually goes to the charity? Well, this is the point. You know, it, it's a scam. It's like charity shops everywhere. People are making money on them fucking charity shops. Charities are a scam. It's one big fucking scam. Right? And it's horrible because I've said it in previous videos. There's not much you can do about it, is there? You know, uh, like I say, there's a absolute shocking storm coming, but the government aren't saying to people, why don't you grow food in your gardens? Cause some people have got massive gardens, haven't they? Massive fucking gardens. And they're unaware of what's coming. So they think, oh, it's only... Well, it might be pound fifty in a minute for a fucking... Six shitty tomatoes, mate, but they don't understand what's coming. See, and the government aren't telling them. In World War Two, people were advised, go and grow in your garden. There's an imminent disaster coming. Where's the government saying to people, go and go in? They don't want you to. It's not in the name of the game. Weefy man is in the yard. Registered charities are a scam. Others are treated like a normal small business. Yeah, they are small businesses, yeah. Oh, large businesses. The C yeah, Lenny's in the yard. Yes, the CEO of a charity on Massive Money is a disgrace. Charities have been a terrible reputation. Is absolutely. And you're up 1.65 litres of petrol, 1.81 litres of diesel. It costs me about 40 to £50 pound a week in diesel. I know, and you only go out. We only go out. I bet you still work. I bet you work in Salford, don't you? Sorry, those bells going. That is all right. See, that's why I, I, I just ride a bike, me, because like, if I want to go to Oldham, set me. Right, set me 35 minutes on a bike. So, it's not too bad. You know what I mean? Like, and then you don't have to, you, you, you're good on a bike. Mind you, Jamie's got me back at the minute, so he needs to sort it out. The tokenization of everything is happening in the Great Reset. <laughs> I know, yeah. The Great Reset, though, I think that might be more fear mongering off the pricks. I reckon money will be around for a good while. Andrew Rope, Lenny to Andrew Rope, but they know a car is necessary for people to get to work. Oh, yeah, and also, 
they know you need a car to get to work and uh, they want to push you into having to own an electric car, don't they? So we're forcing you to have an electric car, which you're going to have to charge at the mains, and to charge your car up at the mains will end up being dearer than putting the diesel or petrol in. Already it's happening. It's already happening. It costs you a fortune to charge a Tesla up at the minute. Yeah? You put 100 quid in a nice car, you'll get further than you will charging a, a Tesla car up at one of these charging points. 20 minutes away, Andrew's work is. You could do that on a bike. 20 minutes on a bike in a car, take you about... 20 minutes in the car takes you about 15 minutes on a bike, to be honest. You best get in yourself a push iron and fuck it. Get yourself a decent push iron. Just to set off a little bit early. You can drive on, on pavements anyway. I do quite often. No tax, no insurance. No diesel, no petrol. And you can have a good drink and, no, and probably get out. I've never been done for drink driving, although I should have been. But yeah. You should do. Get yourself one of these electric assisted, get electric bike things. The weather is a part. Mark D is in the yard. Yes, Mark D. The weather is always a problem, brother. No, you are right there. See, I give these big talks when it's all right outside. Like, no, it is true that. It is true that. When it's pelted it down, like. <laughs> it is emissions. Oh, cheers, Weefy man isn't... Yeah, I know, yeah, I'm looking well, yeah. I'm feeling all right. I'm worried and concerned about my own situation, as well, but I'm worried about concerned about everyone else's situation. But I've got, I'm semi... I'm confident. I, I've got a feeling something at some point will give, because the power asked... It's, the power is more afraid than us, you see. That's why you get weasel trust saying... I'm thinking about freezing energy prices, you see. Because she knows if something doesn't happen, the fallout from it, it's going to be a nightmare. Because people are, well, mind you, we said this, this was the training of COVID. People aren't going to put up with their families and friends dying. But COVID was a good fucking training, wasn't it? But God has a plan. <laughs> I know, yeah. But God is Boris Johnson. <laughs> Um, well, I think, it, never mind God, like, the fact that, like, you know, you can, you can push everybody, but the danger is you can push them too far, can't you see? That's the danger. It's like what you see with people now. Because I've always been quite pro, not pro-immigration, like, but, you know, I've not been as nasty as I've become. Um, because, you know, I left a comment under the video on this guy, went, well, what do you want to do with immigrants? So you put them in barracks while they wait to get fucking sent back where they come from. Not being off. Right? But if you've got a government that can't help new businesses start up, Right, but can put fucking people that shouldn't be here and that are illegally coming into four star hotels, which will be miserable for them, I think. I, I, you know, it's not like an holiday, is it? You know, I bet they're kicking off in these places. I bet that's why they have fucking, it won't be as nice as you think. Um, Liz Trust, she was in charge of prisons. <laughs> oh, there you go. A while ago, and they said the prisons. We're in a terrible state on her watch. Now she's in charge of the country. I know, bro. I, know. I didn't know that. I didn't know that because I'm not really up on Liz. Right. Well, she's a fucking gibbering idiot anyway, isn't she? 
you know, there's some good videos where she's like just pepper sprayed herself in the foot, isn't there? Like, you know, crap what comes out of her mouth. She's a, an illiterate idiot. They put her in power. She's perfect. She is perfect to do a mass depopulation program. She's in, yeah. Weefy man, go on, explain the weft, baby. I don't know that because I'm an idiot. The harlot of Babylon there to destroy, as Colin said. Well, yeah, like she she can do the uh she's the fall guy, isn't she? She won't get in trouble for it. She's not gonna do four years, is she? You're gonna get Keir Starmer in at, at the very you know, that's one possibility at the next election. World Economic Forum. Oh right, right. Oh yeah, well yeah, she's she won it. She she used to be a lib. Uh, was, she's not even a true Tory, is she? Negative polarity. She act. She she's always. But she's a Remainer, and she's all. She loves immigration. I seen a video where she said, "The problem with the United Kingdom is people don't work hard enough." Mm -mm. So she's a poster girl. They've put her in there to do a massive disaster. Take it all on her shoulders. I don't think any Tory believes in benefits, really, Andy. <laughs> you know, she can do a hit piece on us all, can't she? And uh, that's why I think but you'll get Boris Johnson back down the line, you know. Might come back as Labour. Imagine that. Oh, why do I say that? Well, Uses Zero, Winston Churchill, and Churchill did the same thing. It's like they were trying to recreate that shit. She wants to stop all benefits. I did not know that. Decadence has destroyed us. We don't live authentic lives. Oh. But it's not our fault, that, is it, Weefy, man? Huh? You know, it's not my fault or your fault or anyone that's going to watch this video, is it? You know, you were brought up in prosperity. You know, it, whichever way you want to cut it. That's what I'm saying. I've done it. I bet I've done it 50 times in videos. What about the child that has to walk over an electrical waste dump with no shoes on? Picking through bits of crap to take bits of crap back to its mum. or it, Well, it's dad then, even worse. Get rapes off its dad. And then he gets some little pint, half pint, a, a little bit of glue in a bottle and sniffs it. We are the lucky ones. You know, um, worst case scenario, you'd have to get a half an eaten McDonald's from a bin, wouldn't you? We are the lucky ones. You know, it's horrible, that, but it's true. I heard she does believe, I heard she, I heard she does believe, I, them. So someone with a genuine disability that could struggle to work, she would strip them of that. Oh, I don't know. See, it's a tricky one, that, because... Uh, but you are right in a lot of ways. There are kids in the Far East that cook at two years old, no kidding. Oh, yeah. I think... Um, Like food banks, like heat banks, the disabled are a, a good number for whoever's in power, aren't they, you know? Uh, again, you know, you get these Olympic Games, don't you, and you get the Paralympic Games, and they're to say to you, like, when you go into the job centre, and they say, oh, have you not seen these cunts? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, it's been a good game. In, in the name of, you know, being fair to people that are disabled, you know. But, like, they blast it into your face, don't they? It's like, get off your ass. But, like, the problem with getting off your ass is, like, they're going to give you a job in a factory or a work... Well, say a warehouse these days, or well, whatever. But it's not going to cover your cost of living, you see. That's the problem, you see. Even the minimum wage at 40 hours a week, you're only going to pay your landlord your bills, your food, you ain't getting nowhere, are you? 
Liz Truss wanted to get rid of the monarchy back around 2004. Oh, yeah, I've seen them. Yeah, 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 yeah. But she don't, but now she's for the monarchy, by the way. She's a turncoat. She was a liberal, wasn't she, in, originally? Programmable money is on the way. Weefy, man, go on, give us another text. What do you mean? That's why I've been saying for years. Buy diamonds. <laughs> you will never miss. Never mind buying gold and silver. Buy diamonds. We should listen to my own advice. So, well, we're pretty doomed. We'll just have to see what they pull out of the next fucking dark book of fucking twattery. You know. <laughs> you wouldn't, Andrea. I've said everything about governments on this channel, like, like unbelievable thing. You know, like, I, I got cocky. <laughs> the actual CBDCs will be programmable, so you may be rich, but you may not be able to buy anything. Oh, yeah. Well, this is it, isn't it? Absolutely. Oh, totally. Yeah. They're going to control... Um, it's already coming, isn't it? You know, it's like I could go to the bank tomorrow and say, right, blah, 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 and they could do a little bit of a background check on me and say, uh, sorry, Mr. Sinclair, but um, and I could go to all the banks and they'll all say the same thing. That's very true, that. Like, it's like that credit rating system coming, isn't it? It's definitely upon us, that. I'm like, I mean, it's nice to say, well, we'll all have to go feral and, you know, start bartering with each other. What are you going to barter with? You see? So we had... The New World Order has definitely fallen into place around us. Definitely has. There's not a great deal we can do about it. Just have to take it on the chin and see how it goes. Like, panic yourself to death, but is that in your best interest? You know, will it become a cashless society? It will at some point, but I don't think it's as, as soon as you think. Um, I think cash is going to be around for a long, long time. Like, I mean, if you ask me, will it be cashless in 100 years, I'd probably say, yeah. But will it be cashless in 25 years? I would say, I would say no. But I'm definitely not the oracle. But the de that's definitely one of the major things they want to bring in. You know, it's full control, isn't it, then, like, you know. China's already done it, hasn't it? You know. Uh, you gotta look into all these bastards, aren't you? Like that are very, very wealthy, you know, and see what their plans are for us. The touch is the key. Go on, Mark D. You'll have to do me an explanation on that one, my brother. Go on. I'm not understanding. Tangible rewards. Oh, yeah, like playing the game. Yeah. They, def they don't like you, do they? Like, you know. But if you play the game, you don't moan, you keep your mouth shut. Uh, you know, you can probably do quite nicely in the new world order, can't you? Like, you know. And many will, won't they? You know. You know, they'll. Uh, They'll avoid the pronouns, won't they? It's like, they, I watched it, it was Piers Morgan, who I can't stand, you know. What to say is a new world order, cunt, is a load of crap. Because everyone's thick, that's what I'm saying. That's what. That's where they win with the disinformation, where we all get carried away with ourselves. But he's speaking to uh, 
people appreciate holding their prize, that's what makes it worth it to the untrained mind. Mark D, you're getting deeper and deeper each message, brother. And he's arguing, he's talking to this. It's a woman and she's in a she's got a relationship with a transgender man and a girlfriend, and they've got a few kids. And she's explaining that they don't want the kids to call D or she, blah, blah, blah. Just a lot of crap. All it is is she's in a fucking weird threesome. And I, 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 I watched it on the telly in the car and I, and I, I couldn't even be asked, but we're going to go and leave a message and say, they want the kids. They want to fucking nonce the kids, man. That is all they are about. But there you go. And if you want to know where Satan is, there he is, you see. Now, that's it. Um, can I explain it? I think you just did, like, you know. <laughs> it's a bit weird, though. We human X. RP is my favourite digital asset. Well, I ain't got any digital assets. I need to get some money, bro. Holding it, exchanging it, gives it power, creates a circuit. Well, I've got money because I can come and cut your hair, can't I? You see, so that's that's uh, <laughs> it's my only saving grace. Lenny, Andrew, I hope not. They want to basically walk into your private life, definitely, and check your cupboard, definitely. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. That's right, yeah, they want to, you know, that's why I don't worry anymore about the internet and, you know, internet fucking, fuck them. That's why I just come and do videos, to be quite honest, you know what I mean? Like, fuck off, fuck off. Because I, I got to that point thinking like that and I thought, just fuck them, just fucking give them a big two, two fingers, silly. It probably, I'll pretty back, might backfire. Well, it probably will backfire on me down the line, but I don't give a fuck because, like I said, 47. Didn't think I'd get to 47, so fuck them. No, I asked. Yeah, they control fucking dickheads, aren't they? Has anyone heard of the Stingray in America? I cannot say I have. You mean the actual animal? It's an Illuminati. I mean, that's like I'm saying, this is how crazy it is. Donald Trump's come out, and it's called Mega, which is Make America Great Again. Mega. And the, I shouldn't watch these things, because they wind me up. Top assets in order, XRP, XLM, XDC, Algo, IOTA. Top five right there, people. Still cheap. Get your bags. All oh, right. Well, none of, no one that watches me, Weefy Man, has got any money. These annoying celebrities like Alex Belfield. I know that Belfield's a right knobhead. And he's a nonce cunt. Uh, RB, bring, uh, Belfield are bring, being used, I presume, to being, bring on, I presume, censorship was. Is Belfield really helping anyone? I'm 47 and see it. Mark D, you know, we'll be a bit the same as me then. Alex Belfield is a twat, right? He's used his uh, media, you know, being on telly and what, radio or like background to come out and put the begging ball out. I attack, I've been attacking Bellhead for years. Even there you go, a broken clock's right twice a day. So was uh, Incredible Criminal. But like, He's put his begging ball out, right? And he's had loads of money given. Will he get done for it down the line? Possibly. And possibly not. See? And he's scammed and he's scammed the nation. All the mugs. And they're all they're all failing it now, you see. There's a big channels pointing it out now. But Belfield is a bell lad. But um Trump's like Say make America great again, and that uh, Biden is going um, basically attacking the ideology of make America great again because that's how weird it is. Links to your mobile phone instead of the phone tower, so police can find criminals. But it links to everyone's phone in the area with people knowing. Documentary is on Netflix. Oh god, yeah, that's what you need, Netflix. 
So that's what I mean. I don't worry about it. Or, or, <coughs> I try and be as transparent as I possibly can. You know, fucking fuck. What, what, you know, in the end, you know, uh, you can go and hide in a hole in the ground, can't you, with a bash of phone and 100 quid folding money and dare not to go and do anything. It's like, and this is what the new world order is. It's just slow. You, you, you walk, you go into it slowly. You know, um, like, don't, you know, we don't take cash anymore at certain places. They do exist, don't they? I've not come across one yet, but they are out there officially, stroke unofficially, like, you know, and that will become more and more and more. And that's it. But I'm pretty sure most uh, proprietors of businesses will take money for quite a long time. It's imperative to own crypto, to be on the boat, to sink the boat. Yeah, I know, I know what you're saying, though. But you have to remember that all these cryptocurrencies, right, if I own 50% of Bitcoin, right, I can sink the boat that you're on, you see. I can just flog it all, make it all become less valuable, scur the herd, and then everyone jumps out of it. And that's the danger with um, cryptocurrencies, you see. Even make, that's just the problem. It's not happened yet, and I'm not saying it will, but at some point it definitely will. At some point, they'll be demolished. Uh, and that's just the fact. But when that will be, is nobody knows. Uh, but if you've got your crypto money and you can go and buy a big bag of diamonds, right, and go into your back garden, dig an hole and put your diamonds in the ground, you'll be bulletproof then, you see. That, that's, that's it. Or, or will you? Well, yeah, you actually will be, actually, yeah. Uh, this is it. This is what I'm saying. It's just absolutely fucked. There's nowhere to run and there's nowhere to hide. Power cuts sort crypto. <laughs> yeah, but power cuts don't sort crypto because then the power comes on. There is a good thing about cryptocurrency. There is a lot of good, valuable. It's got quite a lot going for it, if you like. Because the power comes on and you've got your number on your wallet, and you? In your wallet, you see, so. Um, but it's not the, the be-all and end-all, like. It'd be nice to have a load of uh, whatever, but if I had a load of it, I'd actually turn it into something. I'd turn it into sports cars and, you know, like, antiques stuff like that the big house in cyprus mark d is saying the energy costs are mine lines the pockets of power companies absolutely yeah i mean no one looks into that the energy it costs for the um crypto side of the world it's massive isn't it but it's probably far less than like these algorithmic massive stations that are all over the world as well who knows i mean there you go this is what i mean it's like the, the world's that complicated but you couldn't even claim to be able to get your head around it could you i don't <clears throat> it's like Massively complicated, isn't it? You know, what's going on? Pfft. What will happen down the line? I mean, down the line, I can see uh, 
Well, I could see a few fucking nuclear bombs going off down the line. I'm not on about all out nuclear war. But I could, I could see like Russia setting one off in America or something, you know, like, but not putting their hands up to it. Most new coins are pre mined now. Bitcoin will fall because it's not green enough. <laughs> <laughs> Weefy man. Weefy man's the man on this. I did a big massive video on uh, Bitcoin. I watched the video on, he was like a top expert, I can't think what they called, but he was pretty good. He knew about it. He owns like, he owns like nearly a fill your bags. He owns like, he owns a hell of a lot of Bitcoin, this guy, like, you know what I mean? Like, he did a real, he knew what he was on about. It was about three and a half hours long. I listened to it several times. Um, You know, he feels secure in it. But I reckon you'd be better, you're safer having like things that, you know, like rare pa paintings and things that are rare. You know, if you've got a load of money, you're probably better putting them into things that are rare. You know, things like a gulp in value, artwork and stuff. That, that's probably where I would, if I had a load of cryptocurrency, I'd probably smash it into things like that, me, immediately. You know, even property. Paris, London, New York. Weefy man, we're just I'm a I'm I'm a lunatic from Oldham and the viewers we I don't think we've got to eight minutes to rub together. Andrew, do you want to put halves to a Bitcoin? But it's held itself well, hasn't it, over time, the Bitcoin. My mate, he's got a load of, well, I say a load, I don't know what he's got, but he's got Bitcoin like, and he's lost a load of money. And I said, don't panic. I said, it'll go back up in a minute, which he probably will, won't it? Oh, over a decade. Are we talking to me? Leafy man, well, I remember you, I spoke to you over a decade ago or thereabouts. Well, a decade ago, I didn't have a cat. Um, I remember your name, Weefy, man. So you definitely remembered. In the Crossman memory bank, you definitely remembered Weefy, man. I remember you. But it wasn't a decade ago with the cat. The cat probably goes back. Probably about five years ago. We're on about max there, aren't we? Max is sadly uh, 
spent his Bitcoin chips and uh, we've got Zorro now. I'm proper smart. Is that does that mean that? Yeah, I am. I'm well intelligent, mate. Come on, come on. I'm proper intelligent because I, I put all my money in this cat. Look at the size of him now. Look at that. Look at him. That's how you. That's how you feed a cat, man. <laughs> These are all your audiences, though. Look at him. He says, "Fuck you." He says, "I'm not Max." No, Max loved the screen. Didn't he? The doors open. Up. I'll do what I want. Go on, go and catch me a rat. Massive, isn't it? It's big time. It's only, it's only about, I think it's about four months old. Gonna eat us out of house at home, that lad. I got him wrong fucking, I got him whiskers, but I got him in jelly as well, and I did. I wanted gravy. <clears throat> got me eight and a half thousand views in one video in, in, in 12 hours. Not a mean coon. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I'll laugh with you. We're not intellectual enough to talk about Bitcoin on the Crossman channel, aren't we? We're just more worried about the energy increase crisis. <laughs> you know, the, the rise in energy, we're more concerned about that, really. It's big now, isn't it? You want to see him, he's only tiny, about... Well, when I brought him on first, you could hold him in your hand like that. It were only... A few months ago, like, this fat cunt, he's like, he'll eat cat food, but like, he likes to get, he likes to eat, likes to get on your plate, like, you know what I mean? So, yeah, he's good. He's a cracker. A good replacement to Max, not that you can replace Max, but he's, uh, Bandage the wounds, you know. <laughs> That's been an interesting conversation that this evening, hasn't it, boys and girls? I'm not going to get off, I'm going to crack another can, but it's like. People, they know, they know, they know everything, and or they, cause it, you know, I like to think that I, I know everything. I want to say so this is the way it is, like, you know. But in truth, uh, the problems that are on the planet for us humans that live on it uh, are scarcity. See, now if it's manufactured scarcity. Brilliant. I, I'm not going to argue with you. But the fact that it's manufactured scarcity or it's scarcity in itself right, doesn't change the outcome. And that's what we're all facing, you see. Uh, you know, like we like to think that governments uh, are out to get us. And on one level they are, but on the on another level they're actually not, you know, because getting you doesn't make them more money in a lot of ways, if you know what I mean, in a weird way. So how can I explain that? All right, I'll do it in another way around like that. I like to do it like this. Otherwise, you'd be as intellectual as I would as I was would be. Right. What's going on? doesn't change the outcome and it's the outcome you've got to watch for isn't it you see so it doesn't matter if it's the illuminati controlling the world well it does it'd be a good thing because <laughs> then you're not going to end up in a massive nuclear war are you? but it, it's not um it doesn't matter if it's 
the elites that are creating scarcity are if there is actually a war for resources going on the planet, which I suspect is more true, right? The outcome is the same, you see. So, and, and you can't fight that, you see. You've really got to cross your fingers and hope for the best on that level, really, haven't you? You get what I mean? Though? I'm not being awful, it's awful. I'd like to come up with credible solutions. No, it's like you could go down to the wherever it is and kick off with. I, I remember Russell Brand in the street and he had one of them anonymous masks on. There were loads of people with anonymous masks on. He pulled me then, little bastard thing. So it doesn't matter. Um, What the re, you know, it, it, it's the outcome out of all this crap what's happening right now that's reality. Doesn't matter if it's this or that, it's the outcome. You can't escape the outcome. So, whatever lies it's built on, so the earth is flat, or it, well, it wouldn't matter if the earth was flat. It's not going to change what's happening in your reality right now if it's flat or if it isn't. So, say the earth is flat. It might as well be round. Do you get what I mean? You've got to deal with the reality on your own. We cannot win the game. There you go. Thank you. Weefy man, that's what I'm saying. Right? And it's not like that we shouldn't try. It's the Mandela effect. There you go. At least we can play. There you go. Right, I like that. We cannot win the game. At least we can play. They've given us a chance. Yeah, they have given us a chance. It's the Mandela effect. I don't believe in the Mandela effect, Mark D. Though. I've got a funny fucking vibe about that. I think, like, I, I, I know where it's coming from, the idea. Um, but everything seems the same to me. You know, when I... Because I've actually looked into the Mandela effect, to be honest, brother. Uh, I don't think New York uh, the Statue of Liberty has moved like I'm not that I've ever seen it like, but even on pictures, you know. I've got a really good way of explaining what I'm trying to explain, but it's leaving me. Oh, everybody has a different experience with the same outcome. Yeah, that's what I mean. So for some people. It's like Paris in the spring. For some people, the Illuminati exists. For some people, everything's controlled by the Illuminati, then, right? And other people, um, it's not, it's random events. It's blah, 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 blah. But it's very comforting to think that the world's problems are controlled by 12 people around the table, isn't it? It's a comforting thought, isn't it? Even though the chopping us down in slices, it's comforting, isn't it? You know, because your biggest fear would have to be thermal nuclear war, wouldn't it? And that protects you from that, because you think, oh, well, there's 12 men around the table. So therefore, there's... Lots of people on the planet with that belief system that are not prepared to think or do anything about the problems because they think, oh, it'll blow over. There's just several people controlling the world. But what if there isn't several people controlling the world? And that's actually a scam. Right? Then you fucked up because if you hadn't had that original thought process, you would have actually been trying to do something. 
to avoid thermonuclear war. You see, and you might have had an effect and might have ended up uh, preventing the end of the species and the future of mankind, which is kind of where I'm getting at, if you know what I mean. It's a dead fucking shite, it's weird, isn't it? But that's how I view it. Mandela was sick loads of times and people thought he caught it twice, media over. But Ronald Reagan was shot. But it looks like a blag if you actually look at it. And then that, that takes me to Bob Marley. I don't think he was shot either. You know, and, and there are things that are done on the earth that are a load of crap. False flags, blah, blah, blah. News readers all reading from the same in sheet. Right? And it makes it appear that everything's being controlled. But the reality is, in my opinion, it's slightly different. It's just the principle of different realities with the same outcome. Example, flat and all right. Well, yeah, well, there you go. I like that one as well. See? I don't really need to do it. I just need to read the odd comment. Yeah. Like, some people think the Earth is flat. Some people think the Earth is round. But it doesn't change anything. It does for that person. Because the person that thinks it's flat can end up in a madhouse. You see? Or shunned by his friends and family. Never see his kids again. Right? But it doesn't change the bigger reality that's going on. You know, I don't think that we actually see the universe with all our scientists and telescopes. I don't think we see it at all. We are eternal souls. Yeah, I believe that myself, brother. That's why I've never ever, I don't think, well, I don't think I've ever done it. I'm, you know, I don't want to go on about God, but I don't deny God, if you know what I mean. But I do deny the crap of Bibles and Judaism and Islam. It's not for me. But I've studied them and I understand them. But I don't give a fuck about that now. I think God is on your side when you are trying to get away from everything and say, right, well, there you go. Because there's no one... It's on earth that's ever understood anything fully. You know, and just because it gets in a book, there you go. Well, it gets on the internet. Gets in a book, it's real. Gets on the internet, it's real. It's bollocks. Anthony Joshua thought he was the greatest boxer, but Yusuke beat him twice and he couldn't believe and went cracks in the ring. Well, there you go. Bobby Fisher also went mental, didn't he? We absolutely are seeing all kinds of weird shites going awesome. I've seen weird things. I've seen fucking weird things in the sky. I've seen what I presume were like ghosts, you know, full on proper ghosts. I've seen these things. But many years later, it doesn't mean that I believe in ghosts or aliens. Not to say that I don't believe in them. I still leave my mind open. Just because I've seen it doesn't, for me, make it uh, what, I, what I need to believe in. Joshua trained on my road. Massive kid he was. <laughs> really? There you go. The thing with boxing that annoys me is there's no reason for two people to go and punch fuck out of each other, is there? You know, or is there? See, again, or is, it, is there a reason or isn't there a reason? It's like it's coming down to it now. Which story, Marty? No, well, yeah, we can send money, but I want some fights, they're not about money, are they? There's plenty of boxers been told to drop on a certain fucking round and haven't done. So, ghost one. Oh, God, me ghosty ones. Um i got a few, like. At first job working in a warehouse, it was uh, Wild Boars, electrical wholesalers in Oldham. And uh, I kept seeing this bloke. It's fucking weird, this. And uh, I went home one night to my dad, like, 16 years old. I said, I don't want to go back there. He went, wow, what's up with you? 
So I keep seeing this fucking spectre fucking weird thing in the corner of me. I say, oh, don't be fucking stupid. Get so I carried on with John. And I still kept seeing this fucking cunt. So I went into the... Uh, it was a Jewish guy called Peter. And when I used to go for butties, he'd say, Andy, get me a bacon balm cake, right? He said, but uh, I don't tell anyone. Because he was a Jew, like, but he wanted... Uh, a bacon butty, like so. I used to get him a bacon butty and sneak, you know, give it him without saying anything to anyone. Like, uh, and uh, I said, I went into office, like, I went, Come in, Andy. I'm only 16, you know, fucking dumb cunt. Like, I says, Peter, I said, I keep seeing something in this fucking it's like a warehouse. He says, Oh, fucking hell, Andy. I said, What? He says, Don't tell the girls in the office. So what do you mean don't tell the girls in the office? He says, don't tell the girls in the office. He says, just keep it to yourself. He said, don't worry. There's a few of us have seen it. Just carry on. So I couldn't go home and fuck the job off, so I had to keep doing the job like. So I kept seeing the fucking thing. I'm like, it's just started not being annoying, really. You, you wouldn't see it. It wasn't like a bloke, like you're looking at me. You just catch him in the corner of your eye, and when you look, he was gone. So, I won't go into the, the ending of the job, like, to why I ended up not working there. I was selling them all weed. I was doing bonsai. I was getting my weeds for the fucking dude. I had my motorbike, and I was selling weed to all these kids in this warehouse as well. I was doing nice. Um... I won't go into what happened because it's a bit disgusting. So, anyway, one day, like, they went, right, go up to this attic uh, with a bird, like, you know, a bird. Uh, she sent me days up for a spliffing at dinner time. And I went up and she went, oh, this is where um, he'd hung himself, basically. I can't remember his name, like, for, it fails me. So he hung himself in the attic of this um, factory thing. It sounds like bullshit, I do you know? Sounds like complete crap. So I didn't, I didn't. So this is the first time I'd found out, right? That this he were a wild boar and he would hung himself in the attic. They were a bit weird, but they were loaded to fuck. So uh, job comes to an end. And I'd found out this. So I'm leaving this job very, very soon, like. And I went over, like, there was this lane at the back, and you went over, and they're, like, reels of, like, big, thick cable, all different cables, tons of money in it, like, full of copper. And uh, I got her right. Just, it still was only a flash, but I got a look at him. And he was a wild boy. He looked like his brothers. Yeah, he just looked like him, same height, bit balding. Absolutely the same, in a suit of the time, not long before, I don't know what the suit was, but I got, I got a good clock of him. And uh, so I left that job and I thought that were him letting me have a, you know, think he was saying goodbye. Because in the end, working with him, like this ghost in this warehouse, it's really weird, this, isn't it? Like, in starting to be afraid of him in the end he was he, he didn't bother me do you get what i mean like it wasn't a problem so because he knew where we were going he let me have a good look at him and one time well now and again i'd even go and drive my car at the back into the middle bit and have a spliff just to be near the ghost yeah it's weird that isn't it um but it was a wild boy you see so now, does, do, do I believe that means that what I saw were real? Or does that mean I believe in the afterlife? No, it's residual energy, isn't it? Just really re residual energy. Um, that hangs about, like, you know, after you're dead. He wasn't in purgatory or hell. Just a bit of his energy breaking down over time that we're left knocking about, in my opinion. Uh, so I did see that, but... It doesn't really mean that like, I believe in the afterlife. or It doesn't mean I don't believe in the afterlife. It doesn't mean I believe in ghosts or any crap like that. But I did, with my eyes, witness that such thing, like, you know. So, I'm like, so, like, this is what I'm trying to say, what I was saying earlier on. 
Does that mean I now believe in ghosts or the afterlife? Oh, God, or whatever, whatever, whatever. No, I'm just saying we can't, we don't understand fully what's going on. Do you get what I mean? You just, we don't get it, you know. But, like, years before, well, my life after that, I used to think, oh, because he hung himself in the loft, uh, he's now a ghost in purgatory. But now as 47-year-old, I haven't thought about this for, you know, 10 years maybe. I don't see it like that, no. See? Um, but they just are weird things on earth, aren't they? You know, and sometimes you see these things. Well, there is, there are weird things that, like my dad, he got premises in Salford. Um, we slam, supplying business firms, basically. He fucking shit his pants one night because he's in this bloke. This bloke was stood there like, and he had like uh, 30s, like overcoat on, chill be at, pointed down like, and he was stood next to one of the, like, drill thing presses that we had, like, you know what I mean? Like, he said, I fucking ran out of there, man. My granddad was going to bed one night. He'd gone to sleep. My grandma's awake. My grandma seen this bloke, seen this woman run through the wall, and right behind her was this bloke, and he had this, like, he was all in shirt, uh, top and tails with a rolling pin. And he disappeared, disappeared through the wardrobe. And uh, so the next day, my, my, my grand said, he'd gone to sleep reading a book, my granddad. Must have been a right boring cunt, wasn't it? And uh, so she's like, fucking rah, 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 to him. And, uh, and in this house, like, my dad would be good. My dad had got bed, like, and in the morning, my granddad would be saying, Bill, why have you left all these fucking lights? What, what, you leave, what, you coming down to turning lights on for? I thought, like, oh, yeah, I don't know what you're fucking on about, mate. You fucking, so, you know, I think went on, went on, went on. Like, and then every now and again, the, like the table in the kitchen would start like when, like, you know, a rocking like that, boom, 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 boom. And like, cat would be like, when arching back, like, sss, sss. and uh, my dad even said, like, I was banging the table, leave us alone, leave us alone. So my granddad says, fuck this, I'm getting, I'm selling this house. So, but he went to the library. To like do a bit of like we would call it research, like in modern day, because he didn't have the internet, and uh, he found out it was a Russian composer, and that the wardrobe that was vanishing, where they were running through, was one big house back then. You see, so it was just something in time that was still visual, and my grandma seen it, uh, so they sold the house for a cheap price, just like they bought it. It's all true, this. I know it sounds mad, doesn't it? So they sold it for a cheap price, like they bought it. And the next family lost a little baby in that house. So who knows about that? So it's all very weird. Um, which is absolutely true. I'm not making it up. Another one. Right, me, my dad's outside on the front of uh, Burlington Avenue, Coppice, Oldham. Oh no, he's in the house. And my granddad said, Bill, Billy, called each other Billy, like, Billy, well, he called him Billy, Billy. We were all called Bill, I got it in my second name. My dad wanted to call me Reaper, and uh, he says, Yeah, well, I've not seen too many weird things. I've seen a few weird things. So he says, uh, come and have a look at this. So my dad comes out and he says, there's this fucking weird, like, ball in the air, like, you know, like a spinning spaceship ball. Like, it was just like a ball of light, you know. So my granddad went, come and have a look at this. <laughs> he said... And I looked up, like, everyone, everyone were on the street. It made the papers in the 50s, this fucking thing, like. And my, grand, my dad says, you weren't afraid of it, but you wasn't, you were wary of it. 
He said, and you couldn't see if it was near or far. He said, and people were out in the street, everyone were looking at it. He said, and then it just went like this. Right in, disappeared into the sky. You know, like, a, you know, like, you know what I mean? Gone. Just gone. It's like a thing and then a dot and then gone. And uh, it, it were in the papers of the Olden Chronicle. Um, the next couple of nights, like, we're in the paper, like, and, uh, but, like, so you think, well, it's the Masons with their uh, technology doing drones, but this was back in the 50s, wasn't it? So, whoosh, weird shit. And that was an alien one. But when I used to go to bed, I lived on the first moor of Oldham. And right over, look, like looking over the Pennines. No, it could have been Yorkshire, really, what I was looking at. I'd see these little lights and they'd drop. It could be like, they'd end up being like, it could end up being like seven, eight of them. They'd drop and then they'd fly up and then they'd be like doing all, like dancing. Really fucking weird. I used to go to sleep watching them. Didn't make a big deal out of it. Well, didn't know what to fucking say about it. Like, you know. So, you know, aliens, ghosts. Uh, what, what do you want to do? I had that in my bedroom. I had a blood on my, I had a blood on my back when I awoke and chased it off out of Tura. Beautiful to see my back has no pain now. It repaired me. Well, there you go. Well, that's nice, did not it? So, but like, just because I've, I, I know when I hear and I see and I think, it doesn't, it doesn't turn me into a fucking gibbering idiot. You know what I mean? That believes in the Illuminati, like, you know. Uh, I'm sure the Illuminati, to some level, is true as well. I'm sure witchcraft, rich cunts exist. But I don't think they get anywhere with it, if you know what I mean. Um, it's like... I've seen the lights where I am in my, in my burrow. <laughs> is that burrow or burrow? <laughs> Yeah, weird fucking lights. Like, you know, I've got some other ones that aren't too bad, but I think they're the best ones. Especially when he went to the library and discovered it was a Russian uh, fucking... Oh, Littleborough. Oh, you'll see things in Littleborough, mate. The weed's good in Littleborough. I believe there is something out there as we live on Earth. Life will be somewhere else. Oh, I believe that there's loads of life in the universe. You know, and this is what I mean. It's not going to save our bacon, though, at the moment, I don't think. My cousin's mother died and he has had loads of supernatural visits from her. He told me, I think grief does affect people's minds. Oh, definitely. When my dad died, this is a weird one. I, again. Kill me if I'm lying. So, my dad's died it's a couple of nights later. Not even a couple. That might be like, the, yeah, it might have been two nights later. We were getting some electrical activity in the house, like, which is there you go. You go and put the kettle on, weefy man. Hey, don't put a lot of water in it, though. Just boil you one cup. And uh, I'm sat next to a, a big crystal. I'm sorry. Like an ashtray. It's about that big. A big, fat fucking crystal ashtray. Right? And again, lights are acting a bit weird. Not massively, not worrying, like, just put it down to now and this crystal sat on the fucking wooden floor well you know uh when they say wooden you know like the cheap fucking wooden things that you put on concrete slabs and council houses in my plan and uh we had this massive bang the ashtray had just cracked right in our that was my old man that i think no one would touch it no one would near it we just put it down after having a cig and it just went crack right down the middle. And that was just after my dad died, like literally. So, you know, there you go. We're energy, we're knocking about, aren't we? Uh, that's why I'm not afraid of these fuckers, by the way. You know what I mean? Not because of these things, just like, I just don't think they're worth giving 
the en- your, your fear energy. It's like all they've done over this past fucking few weeks is throw fear on everyone, haven't they? I ain't caught, caught for it myself. I even have been worried. Well, now I don't even need to wear a, a big coat in there. I could get through a fucking winter night. You know what I mean? Not a problem. Um, which I did advise everybody to get. Get some good thick clobber, didn't I? I've been saying that for time. On top of saying that for time, I've been saying, like, get ready to grow some shit. You know, well, I did say it last year, but like, I'm also, I've am also i also been saying it this year also, haven't I? You know, so that, well, do it this year, but, like, next year, get ready. Get some seeds. Um... You know, get ready, 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 like, because we don't know what's coming next year. But, again, each time you think like this, it attend, it, well, luckily, it's ended up not being as bad as, like, first perceived, hasn't it? Like, but we don't know when the bad type, when it's going to come. Um, now, are they using this as a way to get, you know, our food banks, uh, heat banks, a control mechanism. I don't know. Was COVID real? I don't know. I did have COVID. It wasn't. I've had worse flus. We never stopped the world with the really bad flus I've had uh, pre, you know, pre-COVID. I feel they were just charge you for having the facilities of gas and electric before you even use it. I know where your feelings coming from there, Andrew, because it's like when they say the average household is going to be fucking £4,000 or, you know, I do know what you're saying there when you say that. I know, I know what you, I get you there. But what if you're in an house and you're not willing to pay it? So the only thing you do is you cook your food in the slow cooker. All right? You don't have any eating on. Yeah, you have a thick fucking duvet on. Yeah, uh, and you basically flying shower like uh, a banshee in the middle of the night. You know, and like, you know, you just literally, are they still going to hit us with big bills? Yeah, I know what you're saying. I wonder about that because it's like they said, oh, well, the average household will be fucking three and a half. Is it three and a half? Or is it four and a half? Four grand, five grand? Sounds like bullshit to me because I mean her with the eating on in winter, but she's not gonna be able to do that this winter, is she? So not an average household. You stick shit, are you not gonna get charged for the units that you use? Uh, yeah, I know you yeah. does anyone else know what she's saying? Because I understand what she means. Uh. It's like what they say is the average, like just every normal user is going to need, like, so if you're a bloke living on your own in a one-bedroom flat, you're going to need fucking four grand for your energy in a year. Fucking bollocks, isn't it? No, I think they still have to charge us through the meter, though, Andrea, to be honest. Through the old smart meter. I would hope so. But I've got a smart meter here, haven't I? But I don't know how accurate it is. You know, um, I don't use any electricity. Linda uses electricity because I'm pretty much on my phone. Um, I listen to videos with my headphone in. So I'm only using a USB energy amount really there, right? Uh, she watches telly, big telly. Um, like I've got the light on here now. Maybe that light's there, I don't know. You're paying 100 a month, standing order, not a penny more. 100 a month, still a lot of money though, isn't it? It's 25 a week, isn't it? I'd never use 25. Like, when I've ended up not being here, like, in the past, and if you go back through my videos, you'll see. I use fuck all, me. I use fuck all, man. Seriously, mind you. I end up in a flat on my tad like, you know. <laughs> uh, 
And they don't have tellies going on. Five grand a year they want to charge. Just for the facility of having it, maybe. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think so, Andrew. I think you still be under the, the metre. Honestly, love. I won't worry about that. If you go easy on your gas and electric, they, they, they're going to have to charge you what you use. But it's like if you want to be in a warm, comfy house, isn't it? They're saying like, so I'll say when things are normal and you've got your house nice and warm all the time, that's what they're on about. That's when you're going to have to pay a fortune. They've done it. They've shot themselves in the foot because they scared everyone to fuck. Everyone's going to live in the cold next uh, over this winter. They'll lose fucking money. <laughs> See, uh, it's not as bad as you think. Don't pay direct debit. They will rip you off. Every other DD will bounce. Yeah, but I pay with a, a smart meter. So, I don't know. Get hold of your nearest weed deal. Time to get his electric man to come and put you. <laughs> and how many people are going to do that? See, I think this is fear mongering for whatever reasons they've had to, like, you know, maybe it was to get trusting, you know, because Sunak's just a fucking globalist. Um, Rothschild, this cunt, isn't it? Uh, but like, like I said in my last video, I don't think they'll go through with it, which is fine and that's good. But like, what I'm saying is the problem with them not going through with it is the fact that they can rip everyone off. For, in other words, they can increase the prices for the next 20 years. See? So they win, win, win. So they, they're screwing you whichever, you know, like, so in other words... But like I said, it's all right. You can go to bed, get on your duvet. Um, you can cook your meals in batches, stick them in the freezer. Become a freeman on the land. Yeah, but that's not as easy as it sounds, brother. You can put your, you know, and you can just microwave your, your nice meals, what you've made, that you've froze, which is what I'll be doing. Yeah? So they, they won't get a crumb out of me. She'll want the eating on, but I'll just, I'll just, you know, one of them bed blankets, the eating bed blankets. I'll just plug her, put one of them over and plug that in me. So I'm on it. Candles, yeah, but we want electricity because we need access to the internet, brother. Turn us off from the internet and we'll all like shrivel. <laughs> um, It's like if you're in a big old, it's like, it's not a problem. And like, right, what in other words? Well, it depends what you can afford for starters, doesn't it? You know, they're saying they're going to try and charge. I mean, the elder and debt ridden are turning off their fridges and cookers. They will be doing what they That's that's the point. It's the elderly that have got a massive problem. We're a young channel full of groovy people. Get a barbecue, you go in to cook the meals. But then you need the the fuel to put on the barbecue. Get one of them. You can get them from the uh, camping stores. They're like they call the twig burner. Absolutely no danger. There's always twigs knocking about, isn't there? <laughs> Get a twig burner. Well, you can make one. 
I don't think it's going to be that ridiculously expensive. But if you want your house heated like you do in normal when you know, in winter, you know, you have your house warm, don't you? Yeah? Well, you won't do this winter, will you? And you won't do through any other winters. That's the point, because when they put this price freeze on this thing, yeah, they're then saying to you, this won't go back down now. Whereas if they charge us ridiculous amounts of money over the, this winter, they have to drop the price back down. In other words, it's like when the fuel goes up at the pump and never goes down, you see. It's clever tricks what they're doing. Unless Truss is doing it as your hero. I've slept with Woolly Hat and Glove on many times, me, Andrew. Ain't nothing but a chicken fucking wing, man. But that's what you can say when you're 47, but when you're 67, 77, 87, it's fucking, it's out of order, you see. We're youngish, so we're not too baddish. Because there's nothing like getting up in the middle of winter and having your eating banging all day, is it? It's beautiful, isn't it? It's lovely. You know, but it's a luxury. You see, and it's a luxury that... It's like in... It might be Germany, well, it's parts of Europe. Even the offices have said, like, the legal limit for how warm the office has to be has been turned down, you see. We know what it is. Let, let's not beat around the bush. You know, they want to... Uh, lower the carbon emissions of the planet, don't they? That's what it really is. And they, they, they'll make as much money out of it all as they can. But that's the real uh, the real goal, you know. So they'd like to say, well, ration energy to you. But they don't need to ration energy to you. They'll make you ration your own energy, you see. Yeah, which is fine. But for old people... It's murder. It's fucking murder. A mass murder campaign. You're in a murder reality, you see. And if you were the leaders, you might see it the same way, you see. Just before you get on your private jet. You get what I mean? Because they, they've had the wind put up on. They've got these people saying... Ooh, they're all falling for it. Absolutely. That's what it is. It's uh, the killing fields. So, but the people at the top believe it. They're quite happy to have their eating on all winter. Right? As long as you don't have yours on. Because they think that if you don't have yours on, because there are only a few, that if you all turned yours off by force, right, by self-rationing because you can't afford it, or even rationing because they might actually ration it, they feel like they're not damaging the planet. Just like when they're getting private jets, like private jets. If you get a private jet from here to somewhere or over, it's like... Driving a car for 20 years. They're not going to stop driving the private jets, are they? Elon Musk putting rockets up into the sky. What do you think the, uh, what do you think that, how much energy do you think that uses? You know what I'm saying? It's not a game. So, but they do believe the bullshit that the planet is in deep shit. People at the top will probably holiday abroad for winter months. Oh, people at the top, when we're all fucking eating porridge, they'll be on the fucking yachts drinking champagne. No doubt about it. Getting off the private jet, and chauffeur driven to their exclusive 
multi-billion pound yachts. Paddling around the best spots of Italy and stuff. What, what, what do you want to say? What do you want to do? That, that's what I mean. It's not going to stop Boris Johnson champagne popping. I bet he's glad it's over. I mean, really, the demolition crews, aren't they? That's what I'm saying. Liz Truss is a demolition crew. At least Margaret Thatcher gave some people the good times, didn't she? Yeah. With the freedom and economics. I studied Milton Friedman for years. And I really liked what he was saying. And he nearly had me. But then they asked him, they said, what shall we do with the poor? And he said, we shall get people to give to charities. You know, in other words, do away with the benefit system. Do away with the National Health Service. Do away. Do away. Do away. And that was Margaret Thatcher's mentor and Ronald Reagan. She said, so you need to know your history or you're just dumb. You're just dumb. Um, see Boris come in the Tory and went out a liberal didn't he so again as I started the video you've got your third female prime minister from the conservative party you've never had a woman get near the uh, job in the labour party and they're going to be all for women uh, minorities <sighs> I need to think about it. Surprised we haven't had a female president, but they couldn't give us Clinton at the time, could they? That's what I mean. Like what we don't realise is the world right, is in a massive war for resources. And it's all right saying, oh, well, we can just grab it from here and there and give it everybody. It doesn't work like that. Why is that, Andy? Because it's like what's happening with the energy in this country right now. You're in the bidding war. Yeah? Do you understand what I'm saying? Huh? The energy that this country is getting, it has to buy and it's in a bidding war with uh, the rest of Europe, for one. It's not like going in the back garden. I've got peas growing in the back garden, beans. It's not like shelling that. What's going on now? It's big fucking time. So I said to me, mate, right? It's, it's not the government at the moment that, it's, that is at play. It's not the companies that supply you and me. It's the people that supply the companies. You see? And they are not under, right, the Tory government's control. So it's not even as if you can say, well, we'll nationalise. Nationalise what? These companies that have got the energy, right, it's basically like if, if I were your weed dealer, right? And I bought, I sold your weed last week for 20 quid. And you rang me up, I said, it's 25 now. And you said, fuck it, I'll, I'll ring another drug dealer. And you rang the other drug dealer. And he says, yeah, hiya, mate. Oh, I've well, not spoke to you for ages. I didn't think you bothered with me. You went, oh, well, I'll just. I'm after a weed, and I and the, the new guy went, it's 25. You rang another weed dealer, it's 25. So you rang all the weed dealers that you could get your hands on, and they all went, it's now 25. And that is the truth of what you're in. That's what they're not 
explaining to you. And I'm only telling you because I'm a freaking genius. I'm only telling you because like, <laughs> I actually bother to have a look into what's going on, you see. So it's not even our leadership. It's not our ruling elites. All right? They'll make as much better as they can along the way, obviously. You would too. But it's not really down to them. Yeah, you've got five days gas supply in the United Kingdom at the moment. Right? If the taps turn off that are coming in the country, five days. And we spend money in the United Kingdom turning gas into electric. Think about that. It's not that simple, honestly to God. See, it's like my mate. I said to him, what was it? Oh, I said, yeah, we're, we're, we're a little ship on a big sea. He said, that's what they want you to think. So I sent him an article which explains it plain as day. It's not lies in the article, right? Liz, Liz Truss coming into power. If she does do an energy freeze, which I doubt, if she does, right, it causes inflation. Do you get it? <laughs> People don't understand it. I only half understand it myself. It's only because I've spent an innumerable amount of fucking time, a right? dangerous amount of time looking into things over the past. Well, I'll say 30 odd years of my life, but really looking into things over the past 15 years of my life. If I could even like do what I've, do what I've just said. It's just the way it is. It's just not that simple. See? So, um, the job is fucked. So, expect fucking power cuts, to be quite honest. That's what they're saying. They went, we'll all have to stagger the times that we use our electrical appliances, like, i.e. dryers. Well, you're going to need dryers in winter, aren't you? You know, you're not going to be able to drive on your radiators because you're not going to be able to have your radiators on, are you? Which means children are cold, which means homes are damp, which means kids get, you know, illnesses on the chest when they burden the fucking health service. You see, everything's rah, rah, rah. It's bad. I mean, obviously, old people will die. Well, I know you don't want to admit it, but, like, people can take that on the chin, can't they? You see. So, that, you know, like I said many, I've said many years, far many years in videos, you know, cannon fodder. You're not put on the front line of a war anymore. And say you're an old lady that dies next winter with a bit of luck. You've got no friends and family. You've not made a will. And all the money goes back to the bank. Don't forget that. Don't fucking forget that. But they need it to fucking home the Afghanistans. You see? In the four-star hotels. It's like, as I said in videos not long ago, I said, can you imagine if they spent all this money investing on the people, you know, like what they did with furlough? Can you imagine if they'd spent that money at pre-furlough on the people? What a fucking country. Uh, the United Kingdom, you know. Let's have it as a unit. What the United Kingdom would have produced. But they don't want that. It's not in their interest. They do not want to give you a few quid so you can start a business and bob about and like, they don't want that. No, 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 no.
that's where I have to ask myself, why is that? Because I find that really difficult to understand. They're done with us, yeah? Because they're afraid of the idea of what uh, all this is about, like, that's the, they've got into the frame of mind that the, the, we're better off dead, basically. Now, you think that's a modern idea, but it is. it actually isn't, because ancient Greece... Athens, they believed it was overpopulated. Non demicolary tax status for business purposes, the whole taxation system reviles, revile, revils, round, revolves <laughs> around these wealthy oligarchs from Cayman's to Monaco. Well, that is true. The stakeholders are reaping the benefits of our slavery. That's true. Ever come across that Paul Sykes bloke, Crossman? He were meant to be nonsense in jail in the 70s and 80s. Notorious Rangan. It rings a bell, but it's not like whapping into my brain. Lenny, Paul Sykes. We were nonsense in the jail, what, you were a bum boy, bumming, bumming the fucking staff or something. Nonsense in the jail. Well, he were good if we were doing that in the 70s and 80s because like, everyone would come and kick your fucking head in if you were a fucking queer in the uh, prisons in the 70s and 80s, really. Wouldn't want to be in the jail these days, would you, what? No. Nah. Imagine what they're like now. <laughs> but that goes back to what I was saying about uh, this woman that said she doesn't identify as a man or a woman. I'll <laughs> drop in the soap on this. She doesn't identify as a man or woman, but she had a uh, trans man several kids it might have been three kids and a and a woman as well by nine but non-binary non-binary but really i thought well if i'd have been George, uh piers morgan i would have said you're just fucking gonna nonsense kids don't lie aren't you because nothing's real see what i mean oh, fuck you off that's that's what all this ghosty shit does it like, and all this re weird religion shit does. Parts of Canada where the Queen can still assert her authority as head of state in the event of emergency since World War Three, or if Britain cannot provide her with safe haven in times of emergency. But, but who's the Queen? What's the Queen? Nothing. It's an old fucking woman, isn't she? You know, she could be dead now. Imperialism law from the 1700s and 1800s. Oh, you're the Queen can have... Well, if you go into a Canadian court, you've got the Queen looking at it, haven't you? Is, is it still... Is Australia not still the same? I think Australia's the same, isn't it? I got deleted comments from YouTube because I made a comment on transgenders in a live chat a couple of months ago. I watched the video right and it was about it was about immigration in the united illegal immigration in the united kingdom and i swear to god i went through my history it wasn't far away i must have gone through it 10 times and they've even took that video out of my history right out of my history so, you know, we're just trying to... That is true. That is what they're up to. They're completely fucking out of order, in my opinion. Um, it's not even like I like the guys that were doing the video, but they were making these points and they were saying, like... Um, they're basically, like, you know, the United Kingdom's losing its... Uh, what it is, you know, we, we, you, you know, 
you can be uh, an in, you can be an in, uh, you can be whatever you want to call it then in the United Kingdom, right? And you won't recognise your streets, right? But I reckon if you go back to Pakistan as a Pakistan lad, you, you'll always recognise Pakistan, won't you? Paul Sykes said. Paul Sykes, yeah, he was a boxer from Wakefield. He sparred with Larry Holmes, fought John L. Gardner in 79, but lost in jail for years. He, all right, all right, we're getting onto this. He were nonce in younger prisoners. Oh, well, if you're big, yeah, if you're big enough back in the day, yeah, you can. Yeah, but you're not nonce in prisoners if you're in prison. You, you're just raping them, <laughs> nonsense, chugging kids. Odyssey is on the blockchain. Can't be removed. It's been interesting tonight, hasn't it? I'm going to start coming on doing more videos. There's always been rapes in prisons. It's uh, <laughs> always been there, but like, uh, it was just my mate. And uh, he were, he, he's dead now, like, you know. And uh, he were pals with a life in strange ways. And uh, if anyone st started any of that anky panky, it would have been in the 90s, uh, he said, this life will be straight down there, kicking fuck out of them, you know what I mean? In other words, like, back, back, back in them days, you did your jail and you had a wank. You just wank yourself off. See, prisons won't be like that now, will they? Well, there'll be some, there'll be some members in there that are, the, are like that, but there won't be many, will there? Because of the way of the state of the world, you see. You know. We won't go into that. He will put the sun page free in your back and have his way. Oh, well, wasn't really gay then, was it? <laughs> you should go on. Rack on Sir's News every Tuesday and Friday. Oh, God, should I? I'm not sure what I should do. Weefy, man. I'm just chilling. That's Brian Cockerell. He'll tell you about Sykes. He were bad from Wakefield for going around with his... Touch your in public. Keep on. Prison gay. <laughs> I got locked up in Tenerife, me. And uh, when we were in this court, like, they chained this fucking big African lad to this chair, like, they'd, they'd like, chain him up. So I thought, I'm going to be smart here. <laughs> I lit a cig and I went, yeah, bro. <laughs> I, let this more, I, I, I fed in this cig, like, you know what I mean? Then I went to the next section, like, there's these fucking Spanish fucking weirdos going, hey, gringo, and we got into the next bit. He's like, ah, fucking grabs one of them by the throat, pins him up like, I was sorted, man, you know what I mean? <sighs> you have to be smart. Because them Spanish, they'd have buggered me to death, wouldn't they? So. I mean, I've got a really horrible story. I don't know if we've got time. Yeah, we've got time. I'm cutting this lad out years ago. And he's just got out of this South African jail. Uh, 
He's just, he's, he's a bit of a geezer, like, you know. He says, uh, yeah, I got caught, like, I think it I'm not sure, I can't, it's hard to remember the story, but I think it was, it was druggish, like, you know. So I ended up getting, like, about 50 years in a South African jail. And uh, it's a horrible story. It's only a story a customer told me. <laughs> but I do believe him, like, you know. And uh, it ended up, like, letting, being mates with, like, um, Well, let's cut the story short because it's hanging. But the court let him out of jail because they didn't, they was amazed that he'd survived that long, basically. So, and then he was back in England, like, can you imagine being locked up in a South African jail? But they couldn't believe he'd survive, so they actually went, nah, I'll let him out. Third east to the fucking cunt, like. And he, he, he I was cutting his hair in flicks, then, like, and he was telling me the story. It's like, wow. <clears throat> I like, well, there you go. What can you say? What can you do? Boys will be boys, won't they? You can't win, can you? Where is the truth? You no, know, what will happen? What will like, like I said, uh, pre-COVID or when COVID started? You know, I said it's gonna. We'll have to see where we are at in a couple of years, and in a couple of years. We're here now, aren't we? And all I can say a couple of years later is we'll have to see where we are in the next, um, what would we say? September, October, November, December, January, February. So we don't need three, two years. Like We'll have to see where we are in four, five, well, six months. But like... We'll monitor what's going on up to then. That's why I believe the channel effects, you know, like this is the little effect that I have. You know, uh, it ain't a great deal because no one thumbs me up and nobody, uh, you should like send the channel to people, but no one does. I don't expect you to, I don't, I'm not asked. And I know the system don't ain't going to help me out like so I'm, ne I'm never going to get out. But it's quite poignant to say, like, we don't know where we are now because we've not got there, have we? So, good to see you again, bro. I need a couple of hours. You go and get your head down, brother. Yeah, I'm not on here much longer. I'm nearly out of uh, cat food. Yeah, man. Nice to see you, Weefy, man. Weefy, man. Take care, brother. Chill. I remember Weefy Man, but it's from a long time ago. That's what I mean. Like, there's that many chat, that many people have uh, watched me back in the day. I'll, I'll look into the crypto leaks, brother. But I ain't got no money to invest right now. Later's brother. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the amount of. Can you imagine how many people over the years. You know, oh, it's cheap as chips. Well, there we go. There we go, brothers and sisters. Lenny's take take care, Lenny's saying, brother. He has to go to sleep. Needs a few hours. Well, I, I'm 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 all right because I've got to get up tomorrow. Uh, 
Let me see what time it is. Oh yeah, not too bad. Night with you, bro. Well, can you imagine how many people have, have like, over the years, you know, great people, they come and go, don't they? Like in life, you know. You can't keep them all, but if they come back, if, you, if you're on watching this next week, come and give cross, man. i talk to man. See how big Zorro is soon. It'll be massive. All his feet are piss wet free. What have you done, Zorro? Have you catch and a catch the rats? <laughs> Twelve and a half thousand views in eleven hours. That cat got me. Yeah. He's lovely looking, isn't he? I know. But it's not going to do him any favours because he's going to have his balls cut off soon. So it doesn't matter how good he looks, does it? He just looks at me then. He was licking his own head. He looked at him like, what? I know I want the cat to keep his balls, me. I really do, man. I'm, I'm still, well, I'm subliminally trying to like talk her into keeping the cat's balls. Yeah, he might die of cancer a little bit younger, but at least he's... I'd keep his balls on, really. She says, oh, he's going to piss everywhere. But nah, well, he fuck. I mean, if everybody cut the fucking balls off the cats, there'd be no fucking cats left with them. Which is part of the plan of the... Uh, turn your kids into, like transgenders so that they don't have the ability to um, procreate it's part of the plan why is it part of the plan because then th there'll be less people on the planet this is you know it's all one thing you know your energy bills going high now are exactly directly connected with that as well by the way it's one thing no, I, I shouldn't have to fucking do a video explaining that to us because I'm sure we should know it. The weaponization of immigration is the same thing. See, because like, they're weaponized, the people that are coming into this country. So weaponization. Weaponized. Look, he's looking at me now. So I want to go in there now. We're going to chill now. So that's it. I think we've gone far enough this evening, haven't we? Cover a lot of topics. <sighs> really enjoyed that tonight, me boys and girls. Yeah, messing up the natural and normal, but the reality is it's not even that. It's the fact that they've been led to believe that the planet is overpopulated, you see. Right? And it's also not... Um, Equal, right? So, therefore, if you bring enough people and you place them all over the globe, right, the world will become more equal as well. You see, it's really weird stuff. I'll have to do a video on it, <coughs> a proper one, which I will do. I say all this now, but no, I will do, I will, I'll cover it fully, I'll properly cover it. Uh, there's a lad there, he's covered it really well, and I've, I've got his videos saved. But what made me laugh about him is he, uh, he said, right, I'll have to go to, uh, it, it might have been Rumble or um, one of the others, like, and he thought everyone had run over with him, but like when I went over and looked at his channel, because it just disappeared, like uh, he had about 300 people that had followed him over. But the reason he stopped doing his what he was doing was because he thought, I'm not making any money on YouTube. But like, because I've always known there's no money on YouTube. You know, it's like, um, how can I explain it another way around then? It's like there's a few good channels. They're not good in my opinion, but they're good channels like Bowler Atman's one. They've got no 
There's loads of them. The reason why haven't they got anywhere? <coughs> because they're not on the payroll. You see, you got to be on the payroll, right? Why would you? There's one or two can break out. It does happen. <coughs> That's probably because they know they can snag them later on. But if you're not on the payroll, you're not on the payroll. See, and that's a fucking fact. But this kid, like, he, now he, he's, he's just empty. Seeing people, like, comments on his last videos, where have you gone, where have you gone? <coughs> but he did some really good work on... Um, he's an Irish lad, like... But, you know, like, why we're letting all these people come into countries and that, and it's happening in America, it's not just England. So I'll do something on that next time. Right, brothers and sisters, I'm going to go... Right. Didn't you do... The, oh, I'm, I've done the transvestigation, but this is deeper than the transvestigation. It's uh, why... Um, our westernised leaders have got a cob on, right, for bringing people from other parts of the world and flooding places like... The United Kingdom, America, whatever, it doesn't matter which work, Australia stops at China and Russia because Russia won't put up with it and China won't put up with it. But we'll do that. My next video, I watch this video, well, I won't watch it all because it's three hours long, but I remind myself because I keep meaning to do this one. Uh, but I'll do it as about an hour long one. And because uh, the information's on a thing which on the internet, and I'll do it that way around. We'll have to get serious in a minute, won't we? Right, I love you all. I'm going to go. Remember, big love. Thanks for the attention. It's made me feel tingly inside. Keep smiling. Lenny, good night, brother. And most definitely will be one. Brothers and sisters, love you all. Peace out.